One, two. Uh, one, two. Uh, one, two. Uh, yeah. Stepped into the scene in 2015, not knowing that we could make it. Motivated with the dream, they try to throw us to the crumb side. We gamers over here, yeah. Steady on a mission, but with no competition. They say kids smooth is the best spot, representing the best box. Hey, look, yes, but that's a well, so much for taking them shots. Check, move got the platinum, dog. How many trophies you got? Bongo father answers whether you like it or not. The game and God built a squad of strong minded individuals. A diverse collection to deliver news that's monumental. Wanna be a guest, dog? You gotta make a decision. Jimmy, I have have you in the state of the cave walking in this division it's a dark day in hell yeah before you see sunshine if you can't hear me play i go and press rewind this is the season when i thirst i drink wine best to get yours money because i'ma get mine let's play a little game i can show you my weapon will uh let's play a little game i can show you my weapon will uh Let's play a little game, I can show you my weapon, Will. Catch you slipping, I promise I'll show you how I still feel. Let's play a little game, I can show you my weapon, Will. Yo, this is the Weapon Will Podcast, featuring Black Bond, Kid Smooth, The Best Spot, Jimmy J Mega Games, Jack Move Johnny, and your host, Broken Games HDR. went out to breakfast came back and she just left yeah my days over i used to be like that bro i think i like fuck six girls in the past three weeks two weeks <laughs> actually this girl was a top girl though she's the only girl i let sleep over uh-huh bon you should just keep a doctor on call bro yeah oh. i was about to say the same thing <laughs> Yo. Like, yo, I mean you get a doctor for these girls. I'm the I'm the fucking you know what my new name is, BJ? The fucking origami killer. Oh. They got they got they, they got shots for that, you know. <laughs> Just in oh, case. The origami killer. Oh no, Bond, please leave some for us out there. No, nah, BJ, you married too, man. We we're good. Yeah, we're you good. guys good. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he can keep it's, it. It's sarcasm. Uh, I know. Asia, Asia was conquered on Friday. <laughs> that just you guys hear me or no? What's up? No, we did. You, you good? You good? We good. What's okay. up, you? A- Asia was conquered on Friday, so there's only one stop left on the world tour. When when, when are you gonna stop uh being once this? The, uh, once the world tour is complete, bro. You you've been on you've been on like five world tours, bro. And many different years and so the world stop. tour the world tour has flown over africa every time Man. does that mean you're bypassing africa or you're stopping there <laughs> I'm, 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 i don't I'm know what that, <laughs> I, I was confused by what that meant like i didn't apparently i apparently i can't get landing clearance so you're trying to go to the motherland and smash a native you're saying uh, i've been with an african girl before but it didn't get the smash in them. All, all I want for Bond is to be freed, you know, from this. Uh, freed? This, this, yes, I'm freed. You're, you're in shackles. You're in shackles, the, my son. Dog, I'm, the one, I'm the one collecting the reparations for everybody. Oh, I'm not here doing a service for the rest of y'all. That's collecting reparations. I don't want it. I, I want you to be freed from the shackles of having to dominate <laughs> all these women. Seven days a week. <laughs> Bro, it, it literally has been that last two weeks. I need to stop. I really do. That we I mean, be I, I, I've been saying I was going to stream Resident Evil 8 for like, what, the last like week and a half? Hmm? But the, uh-huh. only thing, the only thing that stops me is NBA games and Weapon Wheel. 
Oh boy. I still put in my work on Web Well, you know. I'm like other people that ask three times, what am I streaming? We love, right? Yeah. Really, we love. Andrew, why is OLED in your name? Oh no God. Why. <laughs> he he repping the set. Yo, for a nigga that talk about how he broke with no money, he sure be spending money on stupid shit. I'm just saying. I said I never said I was broke. I said I never got my stimulus. That means you broke if you depend on stimulus. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that means you broke, <laughs> dog. You want to give me yours? Hell no. Yeah. Why hmm. would I just... Blandrew, you couldn't even give me a Metroid. You couldn't even sell me Metroid. Dry. I ain't giving you shit. And get I, I I do have eight GameCube controllers. I I heard you're looking for some. No, I find them. I found mine. I got three of them now. Yeah, but you got them bootleg ones. You don't got OG officials. No, they're they're officials. Did you open them up and check? Fine, they're officials. I got them when my when I got my GameCube day one. They're out of the box. Bro, I don't understand how people can think I'm 40 when I got all my hair, not one gray. What that's supposed to mean? You think 40 year olds 40 olds don't have that issue? Not all of them. Bro, most of them. None of these girls who are all 22s and 23s even believe that I'm 35 when I tell them. They think I'm lying and bullshitting them. <laughs> I'm gonna look sexy when I'm 40. Bond gonna have a it's gonna be like tell him again, man. Bond gonna be 58 with a 23 year old wife. Bro, bro, there were some old dudes that were straight jacked last night at the pool party <laughs> with some nice looking girls. Mm. Like dudes that who's the dude that plays Wolverine? Hugh Jackman. Yeah, dudes out there looking jacked like Hugh Jackman, straight all gray hair, gray hair, just straight macking. These girls gonna give these dudes a heart attack and take all their money. Yeah, no, not because their wives already took all their money. They just out having fun slaying now. Nah. Well, <laughs> what's up, chat? How, how's this week this week been for y'all? Hold up, breaking news. I just seen it on the front of Yahoo and Kotaku. Man arrested for selling modded Zelda save files. Are you kidding me? I this is yo. I, I need to say that I need to say this real quick before we get into this podcast. There's so many things Nintendo could be doing more constructively. Making better online, making a better switch. Making their games run better. Actually releasing games that aren't full-priced, old-ass remasters of decade-old games. But where do they choose to spend their energy? Arresting a motherfucker for a save file. (laughs) Seriously? (laughs) Nintendo the feds, bro. Nintendo and the feds are the same. They got ties, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, they ain't messing around, man. After they took down those illegal sites, you already know what time it is. I was laughing my ass off on one of BG's videos where he was complaining about the Switch OLED not being the Switch Pro or like an upgraded Switch. And he's like, now I have no choice but to play One Piece. But I ain't going to tell you exactly what that is because, you know, these Nintendo niggas, they be on you. Yeah, man. Like, take your I don't, channel, I, take your livelihood. I don't think. See, like, if I'm being practical, I, I feel like Nintendo shouldn't have a way to like sue me or arrest me for saying i'm gonna do something but i'm not gonna take the chance because i've seen what they've done to people oh yeah they are here ruining see i'm like you know nintendo i mean i'm like sony and microsoft nintendo actually out here ruining lives facts that's they they're the strong arm of the law yeah they ain't they're not playing around and it's pretty bad because I really, really want to get a Switch, and it's like, stuff like this, you know, not just, you know, the the, the law side of things, but just the, what this OLED thing means, it, it's kind of making me, make me not want one now at this point, because I, I kind of, kind of like BG, Why I want one. Why would you want one? Well, I wanted one basically just that, I want I wanted Nintendo to have, like, somewhat of a a traditional style console, something like, not something I just hook up to the TV and get a Bob Pro controller. I actually wanted a, a real console and i thought the next iteration of the switch is going to be that way but no nah, that, that that turned out not to be the case and now i'm really looking at it like what the hell i'm i'm looking at this console for now mm-hmm. let's get okay. these intros and we'll talk about it yeah. i got a lot to say about yeah. it all right uh yeah let's go let's go uh happy sunday everybody 
So this is Weapon Will Podcast, episode 287. If you're in here, please hit the like button. You know, that supports the podcast, helps the podcast grow. Um, also, if you want to do more than hit the like button, you could support the Weapon Will Patreon. Link is in the description for that. Shout out to all the current patrons who support Weapon Will. Uh, if you support the Patreon or if you become a member of the channel by hitting the join button, you will also get access to emotes, chat badges, and access to the Discord. Okay, so please make sure you do that. Um, Whipping Will Podcast is on iTunes, Google Play, and Spotify. This guy just called me Genghis Bond. It's actually a good, I actually <laughs> like that name. You should that <laughs> hey, ABG, hey, you make an announcement again? put that in my uh my twitter handle Genghis bond yeah i actually think that's a good name um so yeah um other with the patreon tear we are phasing out the patreon tear uh the one that allows um people to request us to play certain games we're phasing it out simply because two two reasons it's only one, one person who never plays games well, one is because only only one person supports it, and that's Papa John. And two, it doesn't really um, accommodate a good, entertaining, and quality stream because people are essentially playing games they don't like. So it's not it doesn't really turn out to be anything you know worthwhile or anything entertaining. Like Smooth's challenges that we do outside of the Patreon because you know he's bad at games and we give him challenging games. Those oh, are good. Those you know are good outside of the Patreon. But just us playing games that we typically wouldn't like. There's no reason for us to do that because you know as you can see from most of the streams, it doesn't really turn out to be worth worth the time and you know even worth your money. So we're gonna be phasing that out like i said only one person really supported it so nobody's really going to be missing it um but how, do, how do they get people to stream games now uh, hey y'all gotta watch the games we like <laughs> i mean or hit us hit us up individually on on twitter in the dms yeah i, I think i'd be a better idea yeah hit, hit the dms say hey i would like you to stream this game you know hit the paypals i've i've done that you know outside of the outside of the patreon before so um it, in that way really I can actually choose if I want to do it because, you know, sometimes it's good games that I, I would actually do it for. If it's not a game I, I, don't, I don't want to play, then I'm not going to put myself through that torment. I'm really actually going to say it's detrimental because, like, when requests come, Smooth takes, like, years to do it, and it's just, yeah. It doesn't take years to do. You asked three times what you need to stream, dog. Yeah, because I forgot the name of it. I thought it was on Xbox, and it wasn't. Fucking... Pity pub. Oh lord. But I'm assuming this well, week I gotta, I gotta I gotta buy the game. I've never heard of that game before, but yeah, so I think uh so I think this is the you know the right decision um regarding this because you know it wasn't really a a, a good quality um you know viewing pleasure I would say. But yeah. Um and yeah, we're on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, uh and uh yeah, let's do these intros. Uh Bond. What's going on, everybody? Good week. Very good week. Ready for some more NBA. Sons and four? Sons, Sons and four. <laughs> Sons and four? Sons and five. You, you want money on that? Oh, man. Oh, Smooth? No, oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. I'm, I'm hearing silence. Are we getting technical uh, difficulties, Smooth? Sons and, Sons and five. I said you want to put some money on that? What, what, you, try, what you trying to do? Oh boy! Same thing we always do. Pinky, put a game on it. Oh, <laughs> uh, we can put a game on it. Oh my! You're, you're God. betting sons and five. Uh, okay. Jesus Christ! Oh boy! A every time, every time, you know what I picture in my head when this happens? It's just like a Bond is just like you know he has he's like an expert fisherman and he just cast his rod into the into the water and he just reels it in very slowly. Like this is every single time. That's what it's like, man. Smooth is betting sixty on Suns and five. Yeah, you're well, what, what, what if it's Suns and six? What if what yeah, if it happens to be six? Nobody get none. If it's anything outside of Suns and five, I win. No, nah, nah, nah. nah, nah, nah retreat. Could you set Suns and four? But you bet Suns and, and four. You bet Suns and five. But you. Yeah, that's true. Nah, that's, nah, dude, nah that's I'm not true. doing this that's shit like that. That's, that's true. Oh, man, he just that's finessed me. That's, that's crazy. Finesse, you got him that's good, ridiculous. too. 
He just finessed the shit out you smooth. That's crazy. Right, well, well uh, t- talk about that in After Dark. I'll, I'll let you off that one smooth. Don't worry about it. Yeah. We'll just cancel that out. All right. Uh, Blandrew, how are you doing, sir? I'm forgiving. Setting up my Xbox right now, so don't start the OLED topic. Didn't you sell your Xbox? You did what? I would never do such a thing, BG. I'm playing Battle and Wonder Row right now. Stop no, it. you um, sold your Xbox. So doesn't mean you bought a new one? Smooth. No, it's always been here. I haven't sold it. Okay. Better question for you, Blandrew. What? Why are you setting up a console during the podcast? Why not? Question. Oh my god. You paying me? Am I getting paid for my time this being here? This man is supposed to be auditioning for a spot, is he not, Jack? <laughs> yes, sir. Absolutely. I literally had this conversation with BG. What did you say I had to do? You said I had to make videos to get paid, right? Bro, you gotta act. We'll talk about this later, Valandrew. All right, uh, Jack. Hey, hold on. Who the fuck is? What's good? Who the fuck is Zaddy? Who is that? Yeah, I ain't, I ain't. I don't know who that is. I who gave? I like thought you gave Harry. him privileges, Jack. Who is that? I don't know, and Going I'm not calling everybody? him that name. Who Who are you? Not calling just, him just that flew name. In, just flew in from Greece. Had the girls there, booze there. So yeah, let's have a good show. Who, who the hell are <laughs> you? What <is> the name? <laughs> <laughs> who is this man? <laughs> well, I'm a little jealous because my trip to Greece got canceled last year due to COVID. Oh, really? So, yeah, let's have a good show. <laughs> oh, who are you? What is what? Bro, who the who are? Nah, let me let me look at Hey, Jack, Jack, it? you know what I always say, Jack. What's going on with your guy, man? It, Alex King is his YouTube. It's okay. What you okay. Always, he, what you he's, say, he, he, he's in he's in he's in our Discord. He's in Press Start Discord. He's in Jack's Discord and Solid Rev's Discord. So we know who this is, but I don't I'm not sure what, who what you is. always say, man. What's going on over here? What's, we're here two bonds at this moment. Wow. Crazy. Oh, do you see what this man's YouTube name is? Bro, I'm about to keep what, what's, what's, my, what's my YouTube name? See, if I say it, it's going to get me into some bullshit. <laughs> no, no, go, 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 ahead and say the, go ahead and say the name. I'm going I'm to text it to Jack and Jack and say it. I'm not trying to get any smoke today. Uh, do you see it, Jack? Hold on, where you at? Do you see his YouTube name? Jack, he's on no. your friends list. I'm going to take a picture of it. I'm about to kick what's this man out, bro. What's, what's, what's your YouTube? What's your what, YouTube? What you name? mean? I'm trying to. What's your YouTube I'm trying, name, buddy? I'm trying to contribute to the uh, the podcast. What's my YouTube oh. name? Hey, who is this fucking guy? Oh, if you <laughs> uh, look up Mocha Stiff Scalp, if you want to look at some. All right, you out of here. All right, you out of here. You out of here, dog. What? You out of here. I had to get him out. Wow. Uh, I'm getting him out of here, crazy. bro. I'm out of here, bro. He's out of here. Oh, no, this is insane. I want no spots. So I was not reading that. I said that you got, you got the DM, Jack. Yeah, I saw it. Oh shit. Oh y'all are crazy. <laughs> I was it's like, the- you ain't you ain't gonna get me to say that. Then it's gonna be all over Weffle Wheel memes and everything. And nope. How did he get permissions? How did he get permissions to be in here? Like, what the hell? This oh shit's my god. Crazy. Man's just crashing the podcast. I don't know, even know how he got privileges. That's crazy. Not Jack, YouTube Jack, Jack, channel, you, you know Jack. He's on your friends list. You know who that is. He's uh, in your Discord. Hold on, let me see. Let me go look. Let me go look. Is, is this says he's on your new? No, oh, he got a different name in my Discord. Though. Who is that? Let me see. See, you know, Jack, see Jack. That's that's one of your gremlins. That's one of your sex gremlins. About? One, one of, one of a, the members of a, your. He probably got a different. He probably got a different name in my Discord, man. Yeah, that oh, that dude's from from your cesspool of a Discord. Wow, anyway, man, shout out to the homie, damn man, that's that's crazy. That uh, oh, he he wanted his ten minutes, his five minutes of fame, I guess. You know, he wasn't getting it from me. That's why you didn't want to read the um... new <laughs> new. They gonna clip it. They gonna make some bullshit. All right, uh, Cyclin, what's up, man? What just going on? He called me by the wrong name the second time. Like he did that back in the episode, the last episode I was on. Um, what, what's going it, on, man? Jack told me that's your name. Ain't, ain't that what you go by? It used to be Silent uh, BG. Yeah. No, no, no. His name. Not not Cyclant. Right. <laughs> I'm, pre- I'm I'm pretty sure it was Cyclant, but I guess no, he just, it, he's, he's sitting there telling you that wasn't his name, BG. No, that okay. wasn't. I mean, you, it, you, 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 it, it, it's the, it's the right spelling. You just said it wrong. <laughs> like, but nevertheless, 
VF Baller. That's my actual original name from back in the day. I, um, I had to change it. Went back. I um, appreciate for the opportunity to be back on again. You might hear my son in the background. My son is the best, but he loves to play up here in my game room. But um, if y'all haven't checked it out already, I know me and Jack Moo had a... You want your teddy bear? Man, F them kids. Uh, don't Whoa, do that to my son. You better cut it out, boy. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> yeah, I'll get it in a minute, son. Hey, if you if you haven't checked out the the one on one episode I had of my um my channel, one of my channels, VF Cast, me and uh Jack Move had a, a good hour discussion about gaming. It was pretty cool. And um also my primary channel, I basically talk about uh sports. So um good to talk about some games and uh you know, glad to be here. Let's get into this talk. All right, smooth. What's up, everybody? It is the Best Bot Kid Smooth. Happy to be here on another Sunday. Oleg Gang. Yes, sir. Um, okay. Uh, did I miss anybody? That was everybody, right? Okay. Uh, and you already know who I am, so let's get right into the topics. Um, let's see what we started out with. Um, so there was this, I think Landry's going to know this didn't get a lot of traction, but it was uh, it was about more censorship, I guess, from, from PlayStation. Uh, they apparently censored some blood in this game that I've never heard of. That you know, I don't know anybody. It's a popular game actually on PC. It's a yeah, popular. No, no, no. Okay. okay the, so the PC weirdos, like like that small section of like you know, the gameplay, gameplay not music. Oh shoot! Oops. Uh, okay, my bad. So yeah, um, PlayStation uh, censored this game called Doki Doki. It's apparently a, a game on PC. I've never heard of it. I don't think a lot of... Blandrew says it's popular. No, but it's, it's pretty popular. That's, I've hey, been hearing about that for, for a couple years. Okay. It's, uh, it's, it's, so it's a Doki Doki Literature Club. That's the name of the game. Yes. And uh, I, I assume it's, it's a game that mostly, you know, weirdos in, in a very niche... Uh, population of uh, people play, demographic of people play. And uh, apparently they just censored some blood in it, so some people were outraged or upset or whatever. Is that, the, is that, is that how it is, Blandrew? Did I cover most of that? More or less, yeah, but it's not a small section. Apparently that game sold anywhere from 2 to 5 million. So From a bunch of social reject version clowns, I'm looking at what this game right call, now. Whatever you want to call oh. it, I mean, it's a popular game. Bro, are you looking at this game? It's a visual novel. It's a bunch of versions that want to pour gallons of milk on the comic book characters. Actually, it's nothing like that. It's not that type of game. I'm looking at four little teenage girls. It's not that type. Regardless of what the characters look like, it's not that type of game. Apparently, it's pretty. It's like M-rated and pretty dark, despite what it looks like. Okay. Um. Is it is so PlayStation censored it on? Is it on PS4 or PS5? I mean, natively, like. Uh, I'm not sure. I know it's on one of them but yeah okay and uh is this is it censored everywhere or just is this just another japan situation do you know just that specific console the nintendo switch and the pc versions are fine but the playstation version has censored black blood okay in in the u.s also in the u.s and yes and japan everywhere okay yeah um i don't really care like i said it's i think if you play this game you're a loser anyway and you should reevaluate your life um Slippery float, BG. Eh, listen, hey man, all all the games I play. Ain't... I told you guys this would happen exactly the way I did when it happened a couple months ago. You said they're not censoring violence, and I said it's gonna trickle down to violence. It's gonna start going into dialogue. It's starting gonna start going into everything else, just like it did with Nintendo. Good day. Yeah, just uh, like with the Last of Us Two on that boat, right? That was like I said, so, it, Sony doesn't really care about what their what their developers are doing. It's everybody else for some yeah, weird reason. Nobody wants to see that bullshit in these version games, dog. So like somebody this... getting stabbed is too much, bro. We ain't trying to see on these little, like, these little kitty shit games. Does Mario get stabbed? No. So what? Is, Mario's an E-rated game. It's not an M-rated game. Look, nobody cares about these loser games except for losers, so I don't even care, to be honest. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. I, I kind really of the don't response either. I, I figured, so I'm not surprised. I, I like, really don't either. Because here's my thing. It, it's 
it's it's like it's never like a major game that that gets censored and it's it, it's always the same type of game it, it's always like these weirdo you know oh man how are you, you know, guys you, pc dwellers and you don't know what doki doki literature club is because, oh, oh, okay let me give you a good example of why because it, i'm not no, a i'm not a born and broadband pc gamer that's why listen the, the type of people who enjoy this game are, are also on a certain list. That's what I'm trying to say. So I yeah, couldn't care true. less. I mean, these, the people that play these kinds of games, the people that their brothers fuck their girlfriends. So the people... <laughs> so so yeah. people that play visual novels are on some type of list. First of all, you the, don't play visual novels. You read them. You watch them. Whatever. Whatever. Exactly. Yes, the, yes, the people who play this game cannot go within 20 feet of a school. How about that? You, you what, what, about, what about Phoenix Wright? What about Phoenix Wright in the Ace Attorney I, to, series? I totally about, agree with that, BG. I totally agree with that. They weirdos, too. What about Phoenix Wright? What about uh, Professor Layton? What about all these other visual novels uh, that come yeah. out? I don't think Phoenix Wright is a visual novel. It, it pretty much is. You actually have to have, like, common sense and, like, forward thinking to play phoenix right it's a visual novel with certain you know like mind games that you play in the courtroom but for 95 percent of that game it's a visual novel yeah but you're in a courtroom what are you what are you no, doing in, what are you doing in doki 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 <laughs> panic whatever this is game i've is never called. played the game but apparently it's super good <laughs> oh i, 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 I have a question good. i have a question I only what, sing, I only what, what, what what makes the game good like what why do people That's, want to buy this game why yeah. is that and the thing about this game is like a lot of shit happened that you kind of don't see if I say it though it's kind of a spoiler I don't know if I want to say it but like what are you playing as Jack crazy. how you spoiling something nobody gonna play <laughs> certain, <laughs> certain, certain, certain crazy shit happened like it just the way the game look you wouldn't expect it to play out the way yeah that's about. why I keep I, telling I, them it's not the type of game they think yeah, it is it, it, it looks a certain way, but that type of shit don't really happen. But like some crazy shit happened, like some suspenseful type shit. Bro, don't y'all remember when they they donated for me to? Uh, I would say read, but play. I mean read. Uh, what was that name? Clanad or whatever. Clanad. Yeah. And that's another. That's apparently another really good one too. That game was, oh, bro. These people need to just buy books. The, yeah, like I'm sorry, bro. I just can't respect it. Like the type of people who play this game. Are pe are this are people who would have like anime you know profile pics on Twitter, and I don't respect people who so, do that either. What are you judging this game off of? To where the people that play this are on some not type of even list? a game. What yeah, are you judging game. this game off of? It the fact okay three things: the art style, the fact that you you read, you don't actually play it, and it's a bunch of little girls. That's all I need. Yikes. Isn't isn't Persona an anime focused type game? Isn't Tokyo Mirage Session an anime heavy game? Oh, I don't nobody, like those games. Uh, no, nobody plays Tokyo Social Reject Sessions. And Persona actually has a very intriguing story and good gameplay. As and Persona, I, I can't say that a visual novel has any gameplay. Mm, and Persona Five actually has a little girl getting raped in it by a teacher. But you know, whatever. Wide, but you know that's uh, some graphic mature rated stuff. To have yes, a crazy and feature just like, like that. Dookie Dookie Literature Club is an M-rated game uh, with mature-rated stuff in it. I'm not trying to hear about your Dookie Dookie Literature Club. Okay, so let me ask you a question. If this is such a problem, why why is it never like major games? Why do, is always niche games well, like most people have never two heard to of? Five million, not a major game. Man, on this PC, popular, this, a popular stream, this a popular streaming game. I've never <laughs> heard of this game. Yeah, I've seen a couple of streams. Hey, chat, y'all chat, y'all heard of this? Let me know. <laughs> Bond don't know anything because again, I'm not a born and broadband gamer. These new it's, age PC gamers play like genital jousting and shit. <laughs> but <laughs> genital jousting, why you crazy? I'm I'm trying to look up this game myself, and I, I I've never heard of it. But I'm trying to figure out why is it censored. But the only thing I'm hearing about it has is a has is a psychological horror with violent and sexual content. If it has that, why are there little kids in this game? Thank you. That that's what I, I mean. It's it's okay to have these type of games without having that that anime look of of children. That that's, no, it's, that, that's, it's not it's not children. Multiple anime series have that. Okay, they're just like well, the they, well, okay. They they're not children based on age or visuals. 
Because if, like, if they look like children, how I don't many that. how many anime series come out of Japan that focus on teenagers and dismemberment and all? Okay, this but, here's thing, thing, but here's the thing. But here's the thing. But here's the thing. But that's not the thing. My 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 thing is even even if the 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 characters are twenty eight, why do they look like they're thirteen? Exactly. That's what's so weird about it. Okay, you there's that's anime that, series that that. that there's anime series that involve children, but you know what? They actually look like children, and they're like teen, and they're actual children, right? What is with this this weirdo, fa you know, fascination with having adults, apparently characters that that are supposed to be thirty, but they look like twelve? Why? Why is that? You know, you why? don't think you don't think they're catering to a certain demographic by doing that? That's why I can't respect it. Yeah, that, you know that's, a, that's a great point. That's a great point because the visuals is more than anything because when you're playing these games, you don't care about the – most people, when they play games now, they don't care about the age of the person. They're looking at what they're playing or who they're controlling or what's on the screen. And if they look like a certain age, they're going to be seen as that age regardless of what their bio says in the, in the, uh, in the back part of the – I guess they don't do uh, – um, what's the thing called? Damn it instruction manuals anymore mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter what they say in the instruction manual if they look 13 it's going to be mm -hmm. depicted as 13 i remember and, in bravely default they had to age up one of the girl characters to make her of legal age because of the bullshit that was going on in it and the american and, version is like oh no she can't be 14 she gotta be 18 and let's be honest there's a certain you know i, I guess part of japanese culture that is how do you put it? Um, they make content for a certain type of people that like this type of stuff. Bro, I would say it's more part of American culture now. Well, I think Americans, a, a large part of American uh, culture consumes it. The Japanese culture just seems to make it or design it, which is just weird, man. So yeah, I, I don't care. I don't care them. Sent, they can censor that stuff all day long. I, would, I don't care. Honest, honestly, <clears throat> if they were going to I would rather them just not say, I don't, we don't want it on the platform, to be honest. Because nice. like, because like, I don't know. If, if it ain't censoring really nothing else, man, everybody else letting it rock. Either let it rock or don't allow it on the platform. That's how I see it. Okay. Well, let's, let's move on. I don't want to talk about this weird old game. I, be I believe this, this game is designed by a Western developer. I don't even think it's a Japanese game. Don't quote me on that, but I, I believe that's the case. Some guy in Jersey or something. Oh, gosh. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, oh, oh that's, that's buying the smooth territory. Hold on. And BGO. Wait. Who? Who in Jersey? I, I say that's, that's, that's around y'all area. We know nobody in Memphis making games. Facts. <laughs> All right, Yeah, this motherfucker. <laughs> well, if yes, this guy sir. in Jersey, they might need to track him down and put him on the list too. If he's living in Jersey, that means he's from New York and migrated to New Jersey. Oh yeah, okay, nigga. <laughs> he from Connecticut. He from Connecticut. That's where a lot of niggas go go to hide out after they commit heinous crimes. What you talk about? Wait, Max moved from. Oh no. Yeah. <sighs> mm hmm. Yeah. Let's move on. Um, I agree. Hey, where should you with? Nigga, nigga, f that nigga, f that nigga life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that nigga, that nigga playing games, man. I f thought he was gonna show up, man. F Shokio, man. Y'all can tell him crazy. I said it too. That's crazy. Games. He don't, he don't respect us. Think shit is sweet. All right, I'm, I'm gonna catch that nigga outside one day. I'm gonna catch him slipping. Where he live again? Whoa, whoa, what you finna do? He live in uh, oh, Texas. Oh, Texas. Oh, word. Okay. Yeah, Dallas, Texas. What you gonna do? Oh, word. Okay. You got a gun? Yeah, man. Not to my knowledge. He lives no in word. Texas. What you think? Nah. He got one of them. <laughs> got a gun from Splatoon. Not this month. I don't yeah. think he no Exactly. Shokio kind of oh. sweet. I don't think he. I don't oh, think he, he might turn you into a squid. He's, oh, he's, one, he's, one, oh, he's one of those Texans. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think. Shok I don't think Shokio holding. Okay, he's he one of those. Whoa, Texans. whoa, whoa, whoa! Pause. What you say? Holding oh. gun. Holding. Oh, uh, oh, a gun. Okay. What? What? Why are you thinking about that? I'm drinking water. I, the first thing I hear is, oh, you don't think he's holding? Like, what the fuck? I'm drinking oh, water. I, I didn't say I didn't say packing. I said holding. What are you talking Whoa! about? Oh, but that's people, what you're thinking people, about. But people often use the terminology packing with uh, carrying the gun as well, though. Mm, they do. Uh, they do. They say, oh, you, he, oh, they packing. You, you ain't never heard nobody say one that. No, nah, man. You a freak. Pack, packing heat. You ain't never heard. Speak, okay. Speaking of that, we need to talk about what's been going on with you this week, bro. Taking taking thought pics and with your shirt what's off up? and and putting. Put, Sir, setting, thirst, no. setting thirst traps on 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 Twitter and the Sir. gram with lollipops oh, in your mouth or, or popsicles. What's going oh, on? Man. You felt the type away from seeing that picture? 
I just I just was concerned for you, bro. Like I you this is it under I the like thirst you. trap that they made you feel a type way. But listen, nah, nah, um, I'm just. I can explain all of that, BG. One of the pictures was a. Uh, I was just giving out. You know, I got I got a uh, pretty nice waves. I would like to think so. I was just giving out a little hair advice to the fellows on the timeline because I see a lot of struggle waves out there. You know, I was giving a a washing style recommendation to the fellows, and you know, people felt the type way like, "Damn, Jack, move! You look shaggy without a shirt on." I'm like, "Bro, that ain't the." That ain't even the intent of the picture. I'm trying to tell you how to wash your hair, right? Because y'all yeah, dirty out there. What, you know what I mean? that, that, that's what you attract when you put it out there like that. I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know these dudes felt this type of way about me. I'm flattered, but still, I don't, you know. And Why can't you uh, just put a shirt on, though? Exactly. I was washing my hair. Blandrew, Andrew. Can I call you Andrew? I was washing my hair, sir. Who washes their hair with their shirt on? You could have taken a pic, like, just put a shirt on and then take your shirt shirt off for the picture. So you want me to put a shirt on over a, a shampoo field do rag just to take a picture? And no, nah, man, we ain't doing all that. Then the other picture, I did a jiggy food video. Somebody sent me some uh, jiggy foods to review, and I was just posting a screenshot from the video. Yeah, I don't you were sucking on a light pop, right? Something like that, or a pickle? It was, a, it was, it was some candy. A pickle. It was some candy. It wasn't no uh, pickle. You, uh, was some you candy. Been you been acting like a thought lately. Hold on, so eating, eating lollipops is gay now? Like, what are y'all right. saying, bro? What, what are right. you saying? You've been acting real Megan this thing. You, are, you, are you a hottie? Are you a Megan hottie? You've been acting like one like of those thoughts. You, you putting these titles on me, BG. I'm not doing this type stuff, Hey, man. man. Whatever. Let's move on. Why are you putting these salacious titles on me, BG? What's you had a weird on? week. That's all I'm saying. What you trying you're to get into, week. BG? No, you're talking wild about me right you now. You had a weird week, man, on Just Twitter. Tell me how you feel, BG. Tell me how you feel, man. Oh, man. I don't know, bro. I just That's had to do a temperature check on you, bro. You you've been acting whoa, weird. Whoa, like... whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, dude is weird. I'm telling, you, get... I'm telling y'all BG is weird, bro. Y'all don't be listening to me. This dude BG is a weirdo, bro. This man always trying like... to this man is always trying to like reverse card. Bro, <laughs> his how you gonna play all? How you gonna tell a man you putting out hot pictures and thirst traps and then say I need to check your temperature? What the fuck that sound like? Oh come man, on, come, come oh, on, man. Man. this this How man this yo bro, see this is what Jack does. Jack be acting bro, super 500 sus. Five hundred people watching and you frying ja with me, bro. What is Jack wrong with be, you, bro? Jack be acting super sus and he think he could just bust out a Yu Gi Oh card mirror force and like project it back on you. Like no, you this sus, dude, you sus. Don't great. you hey, you can't re you can't reverse this, sir. I'm sipping water. BG's being weird, and uh, yeah, move All on. All right, man. let's move on. What other game? What are the gaming topics do we got this let, week? Yeah, let's talk about that. So, Monster Hunter crazy. Stories Two came out this past week. Um, I actually bought it on PC. I haven't gotten to play it yet, but I'm I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm excited to to, to actually start. But uh, you know, I'm just you know busy right now. I'm gonna start in the next like two or three weeks. You know. Um, so I I believe Blandrew, you said it's your current game of the year. Did I think I saw you say this somewhere? Monster Hunter Rise is my current game of the year. I haven't played Monster Hunter Stories. I'm too busy working on the Badland Wonderworld retrospective right oh now to be playing God. anything. Okay. There's two Monster Hunter games out right now? Yeah. Monster Hunter Rise, yeah. the traditional Rise game, and then Stories, the monster collecting game. Jazzy Jefferson said he wanted to come in and talk about it, though, since he put 24 hours into it. Okay, well, tell him to bring his ass in here. Jazz, yeah, come in here. Uh, yeah, so he can, because has what anybody else... Has anybody else played it? <laughs> I mean, how do you show up as soon as you say it? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, that's that crazy, was, right? <laughs> bro, that boy was waiting. Today, boy was waiting in the wings. Hey, what's up? What's popping? Absolutely. What's up, I, I haven't, I haven't touched it yet personally, but go ahead, Jazzy. Dude, does nobody in this podcast oh. play games no more? What's going on hey, with what? you? Hey, Jazzy Jefferson been on the podcast <laughs> more recently than Kid Smooth. What the fuck going on, man? Oh my god! All right, no, I play games. I just haven't. I, I play games. I just haven't played this one. Go, go ahead, right. Jazzy. Jazzy, break it down for us. Tell us about Monster Hunter Stories Two. Well, basically, from what everybody has been saying, it's a turn-based RPG, but it's more like a monster collecting rather than an action series type of game, as before supposed to mainline Monster Hunter. And so far, so far, I'm only like 24 hours in already. I'm like at the stage of where you're pretty much in like the uh, snow territory. So pretty much like in the start of the game, you're pretty much like as a rider trying to figure out what's going on, trying to help your pe your village out people. And then once you meet with this girl who has like an egg for you, you pretty much set out on an adventure to pretty much, you know, figure out what's going on with the world. And while the monsters are like wilded out. And so far, it's pretty good. Um, for a monster game called Monster Hunter Stories, the gameplay is really, really freaking good because I played the first game and... This one right here is actually really, really in-depth and pretty good so far. So I don't know, 
Like, people were telling me, like, this game is 25 hours. I'm like, no, it ain't. Shit. They lying or they didn't beat the game. So, it's been pretty good. I probably recommend it. Um, now, I do have some problems with this game. The main problem is the frame rate is, at least for the Switch version, because that's what I'm playing on, the cutscenes in the Switch version kind of, like, dip in terms of frame rate. But if you're playing this on PC, you'll be fine. Like, the PC version, I think, goes up to 144 frames. So, Depending. good for y'all yeah. on that. Yeah. So, if you're playing the uh, PC version, you'll be absolutely fine. But the Switch version is pretty good, and I'm keeping it up. And this is going to be a whole pack of content, and it's good. It's most likely probably going to be one of my game of the years by the end of the day. So. Okay. All right. Hold on. Thank you. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you. So this is a what is this? This is a more story based Monster Hunter game as opposed to the uh, the main the other Monster one? Hunter games. Yeah, I mean, kind of, pretty much. So, like, there actually is like a more in depth story, but it's not really. If you're going this expecting this like these grandiose type of writing and story, you're not going to get that because it's a JRPG that's pretty much carried by its gameplay. Like the story elements in there is fine and serviceful enough, but it's not like the main draw like people who play monster Hunter collecting games know what they're not going to get some like type of thing out of it so mm-hmm. it's got more story than mainline like monster hunter but it'll do just fine it got voice acting or are you reading text yes okay no nope. it actually got voice acting this time around because the last one on 3ds didn't and they just made like grunts and noises type of thing here it's got actual voice acting <laughs> but the voice cast for this game I've looked at the cast. I don't know who these people are at all. I can't. There, none of their names like come up, and I don't even know who's voice acting anybody. But it's fine for what it is. You can play as English or in Japanese if you want to. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's an interesting. Look, sound. That's interesting. Why couldn't you tell us about that, BG? I I, I just said <laughs> I haven't started the game yet, sir. I'm starting in about two. Are you weeks. on you own a game, BG? Yeah, I bought it on PC. When did? What? Oh, the game played what? for podcast. What the hell? No, there is. There is. Right, it's coming you. up. There's actually like an hour. Is it's the the whole second hour of the gameplay is actually going to be Monster Hunter stories that uh, uh two people actually sent me. So yeah, shut your eyes. But, but, but you didn't play it to give your synopsis of the game. No, I didn't play it yet because I'm no. I'm busy at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Did and you, did you BG, play, it, nigga? I have no interest in Monster Hunter. All right. Well. Well. As, well, in BG's, in BG's case, in BG's case, the demo for Monster Hunter Stories 2 isn't available on PC until, like, the day it actually came out. So, he has an excuse. Do you I think I would like this game? Because, it, when, because I had no idea that Monster Hunter Stories was a, uh, the type of game it was. I thought it was just like, a, you know, a, a, I, did, I, I pretty much thought it was the same as just a Monster Hunter mainline combat. I thought it had the same combat, but as soon as uh, Blandrew told me uh, it was different and I looked up the gameplay, I was automatically interested. So do you think I'll like it? Absolutely. I think the gameplay is very serviceable enough. And the difference between this one and the first game that came out on 3DS, it actually does a lot more older people. Because if you look between Monster Hunter Stories 1 and to this game right near, you'll see which one, like the first game, appealed way more to my more younger demographic so here is actually a lot more serviceable and i think you'll okay. like this one this time around okay and yeah I'm, it, I'm, it, looking at, I'm looking at it right now it looks pretty good and i know you said uh, it's I'm, like a pokemon you know uh well monster you know uh catcher type thing is it like pokemon in the way that you like actually give them attacks and commands like that no well the thing about it is like they the monsters act up their own distinctive. You can't inherently like control them. They like do their own thing. They might do a speed attack. They might do a power attack. But mm. throughout the battle, if they get a one up on like the enemy monsters, you can actually give them set skills and commands to attack with in battle. And they have this whole thing called the right of channeling, which is pretty much a way to transfer abilities from other monsters to another monster. So okay. it's actually really, really good. I might dump. I think, I think, like I think I'm gonna really like this. I do think I'm. A, I'm. I'm gonna like this. So uh, another Glad game you where you can't they, get uh, it on a Switch Pro. Oh, unfortunately. But uh, Jazzy, thank you for your uh, insight on this game. Yep. See, how come we have to have 
third party people come in and talk about things our Nintendo advocates should be talking about? Great. Mm-hmm. Monster, oh, Monster, Hun- Great. Monster Hunter's That's on the PC. Question. Monster Hunter's on the PC. You and BG are responsible as well. Yeah, but it was a Nintendo game first, originally. No, actually, yep, it was it originally was a PSP game. game. PSP game. It was? Oh, okay. Yes. Well, I, yeah. well, so what, nigga? We still, re- most, most uh, 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 <laughs> we still relying on you. Yeah. yeah you, you're the only one out here in these handheld ghettos. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, Jazzy, thank you uh, for, for stopping in. Appreciate your insight. You can get out now. I mean, I mean that with all. I mean, I mean that with all kindness. I mean that with all kindness. Oh, don't worry. I won't be like the last guy that just came in here. I promise. I'm out. <laughs> Shout out to Jazzy, man. Shout out to him. I still, I still don't know who that other guy is. Jack, you figured it out? Ooh. That's your man's. Oh, That's go. your man's. I think is that was that Mr. Bitches. I think it might have been Mr. Bitches. <laughs> is it Mr. Bitches? No, hey, man. What's wrong with you, bro? Ripping. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, and the Monster Hunter gameplay just started. We're moving off the topic. Fantastic. Oh, they awesome. still can't design black people. Oh, man. Actually, you can. It's pretty good from what I've seen. Okay. Uh, let's move on to, I guess, the state of play. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, oh, brother. Man. Oh, yeah. How was that? Ouch. <laughs> Nothing worth talking no about. Com- no comment. Nope. All right. Okay. No, nothing worth talking about. So, uh, I believe I have the list of everything they showed at this state of play. It was uh, it was all third party stuff, and they and they said it would be it would be that beforehand. And you know, I didn't actually even watch this. I just watched, you know, some of the trailers, and you know, I, I read everything that was announced. So they showed Sifu. Um, so Sifu okay. is 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 coming out twenty twenty two. It's been delayed. Uh, they need some more time to work on it. Um, they Super about, irrelevant, flopping, on a bunga. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I'm suspicious about this game because before this, every time they show it, they would only show like five seconds at a time. They would never show the game, you know, in in like longer in, in longer parts. Um, so we learned that this game has an aging mechanic, in which every time you die, you your character gets older. Um, and if I'm understanding this correctly. When your character gets older, they also become more wiser or more proficient somehow in fighting. So it benefits you to die, I, I guess, in a way. But if you yes. die too much, like, I guess if you, re- if you reach a certain age, then you'll just wither away and, and, and die from being too old. Yo, so, Smooth about to have the dustiest, ashiest character in a wheelchair possible. <laughs> you about to, about to Thanos snap him. Uh, oh, shit. So I mean that's a, it's an interesting mechanic, but I I I think like it would have been better if there was some uh some uh, negative effects from being too old ap- apart from just dying eventually. I thought that would have made it a little bit more interesting and, and uh and cool. And like you, know, you lose health with you maybe, lose health maybe, quicker or yeah, something. Yeah, maybe maybe you wiser and smarter, but you can't pull off all the shit you you used to could because yeah, you like, you're probably slower. And shit. Yeah, you old as shit. So well, maybe yeah, that's yeah. Prob- yeah. what probably happens is when you die you probably gain you know nothing significant just skill experience and patience right <laughs> i think smooth was like from black Bond. i remember that <laughs> love to see so, it you know i'm i'm a, i'm a little bit torn about this game because like there's some parts of it that look kind of cool like the combat looks cool at certain parts then it looks kind of janky and kind of lame at, at at other parts um so uh, you know i, I just got to see this more this, this game this game is going to flop I just I just put that out there. No matter how much capping we see for it on the timeline, this game still has a a, a damning uh, distinction about it. It's an indie title, and people. I was, make I was just about to I was about yeah. to say the same thing. It doesn't seem AAA to me at all. But that's the thing. A lot of people are capping for this game, but the same people capping for this game. They roast indie games. They say fuck mm-hmm. indie games. I don't support it. So you're not gonna go buy this. You know, you're not gonna drop thirty or forty dollars to play this. And the game, honestly, it looks kind of boring. BG trying to be nice right now, but the shit looks boring, bro. It, it just because it, I feel it, it, it's the it's it's basically the the sequences that you see during the during the trailer makes it look cool. That's why I think why people are gravitating towards it. But the game itself just doesn't look no different than your regular beat 'em up, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm good uh, on it, man. Yeah, 
Like, it's just the know. way that, it's just the way that they put it out in the trailers and in in the gameplay that you see with the little you know with the camera movement and the impact when people get hit. It looks cool, but it, it to me it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't come out as something like it's going to be a high quality AAA. Like you said, Jack, it looks like it's going to be another uh, an indie title that a few people going to get, and then when the game finally comes out, they realize it's not what they want, and yeah, it's going to flop. <laughs> It'll have its yeah. community, but a lot of people that's that's hyping it up right now, they're not gonna be no, they're gonna be nowhere to be found when this game drops. It's kind of sad when you think about it, but you know, yeah, because I mean, right. th- that's why I keep saying like they'll put like ten seconds out on Twitter, and it'll be ten seconds of a really impressive, like, cool thing happening. Like he uh, throws the guy over his shoulder, and he trips another guy over another guy's body. But I'm like, why don't you put out like you know? parts of the game in, in in longer sequences why is it so like you know isolated and practice though how 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 is it really going it's like you got a lot of contextual combat like when he was fighting in the bar and he he threw the dude and the dude back hit the bar and all that are you really gonna be able to pull off this these grandiose fucking you know mm-hmm. because we, those, type of, those type of sequences right yeah, yeah yeah we really gonna see all that for real when you because playing? if we being real sifu is is just an absolver mod that's what it looks like you know yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't, I can't disagree with that. So, and like yeah, somebody in the comments says that he hopefully that the gameplay is actually smooth. That that that's another thing that kind of is a red flag. Do y'all think is the gameplay is going to be smooth because of those sequences that we saw? I I kind of seen a lot of canned, a lot of canned um battles. I didn't see nothing like, let's say for instance uh batman like when batman had his sequences he was fighting everybody in 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 on the arkham series i i, I didn't get that feeling when i was looking at these the, the the gameplay yeah um the other game another the next game uh we saw uh, i'm not going in order of how they showed it by the way um they showed fist forged uh forged in shadow uh this game actually looks impressive to me. Is I think Fist, I think it's called Fist Forged in Shadow Torch. Yeah, Forged in Shadow yeah. Torch. Um, this looks impressive to me. It's a Metroidvania game. Um, it has a lot of action platforming and it has really cool combat. Uh, you know, you can pull off combos on, on enemies. Uh, it's you know two D and it looks really you know the visuals look look pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm I'm digging this. It, it comes out September September seventh. And uh, it's made by a Chinese developer, I think. Uh, yes. Shang- yes. Shanghai yeah. TI Games Network Technology. Bro, I'm about to have a field day making up nicknames for these developers and games. Yeah. So yeah. this this was part of this was part of the China Hero Project that uh, Sony was. Promoting. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Yeah, this looks really good. I, I, this is something I'll, I'll probably pick up day one. That game with the bunny rabbit in the arm. Yeah, you got yes. like a mechanical fist. Yeah, yeah. I want to play this. I, I want to check it out. It kind of looks like what Bio, it kind of looks like what Bio Mutant should have been. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's another game on the PlayStation called Sakuna of Rice and Ruin that looks like this but better. So I would check that out if you're interested. This sound familiar. What the? Fuck? They kind of sound familiar a little bit. It's I, I, I like. I mean, I'm old. I'm kind of old school. I like 2D, 2.5D games. So that, this this is something I'm probably going to be picking up right away. Hey, low key, this was the best game they showed at State of Play. I ain't want to say it, but hey, man, listen. You might yeah. be right because I was trying to say, yeah, that, man. Yeah, because I was, was going to say between this and Saifu, but you know, after really thinking about it, this might be the best looking, best game that they showed. Bye, yeah. Is this is this the first game to actually come out of the China Hero Project? Because we've seen a whole um, bunch of games that is in development, but I think so. Out. Yeah, because I uh, lost all the side, and then it was like it was like four or five more games they kept displaying, but. I think this is the first one to drop, though. I think it is gonna be. All right, cool, cool. Um, there was uh, the de- the Demon Slayer. I think this is an anime too, right? And this there's a game yes, coming out yes, for it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know nothing about it. Um, but don't, don't. I mean, most of these games based on animes end up trash. Most of them, unless they, <laughs> unless it's like unless it's made by like. They give the IP to an you know a different developer, um, you know an actual you know talented developer to make the game. Most of these anime games be kind of trash. 
It's another CyberConnect fighting game. That's all you need to know. Okay, so yeah, it's it's definitely trash. It's definitely trash. If CyberConnect is making it, it's trash. Uh, who else? There was there's Moss, um, book two. Moss is a PlayStation. Um, it's a VR. VR. It's, it's, it's a, a VR. It's game. a VR game. It's VR. Yeah. Um. I mean, I've I've heard some good things about the original Moss game on PlayStation VR, but y'all know I don't really I didn't really give the first VR a chance because you know kills me, makes me sick, and everything like that. And I, I I'm I'm be honest, I don't care how good people tell me this game is. Uh, this I'm not. I wouldn't play Moss. You're playing as, and I know Bond about to make a New York joke, but you're playing as some rat or some mouse, and uh, I don't, I don't know exactly what else, what else he exactly does in the game or she does, but it doesn't look. The impressive. first game got good reviews though, yo. I mean, I never uh, played it because I ain't got VR. But speaking of New York jokes, anybody watch that trash, um, Resident Evil Infinite Brooklyn? No, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> the, the, the movie is pretty that that I don't even know what to say about that. Like, well, I don't even know why they released that. It wasn't good. No. All all the only thing it really accomplished is making people mad that like Claire and Leon don't like each other. So weird. It was each episode was like twenty five minutes. I'm like, y'all could have just made this one movie, one whole movie. It didn't. It it made no sense to separate it. I don't get it. Yeah, it, it wasn't worth watching. Which is a shame because the rest of the Resident Evil animated movies or series, like they've actually been really good. This one felt like just garbage. Like they just yeah. threw it together. All I know is when Brooklyn Rats came out, I was like, oh shit. Oh man. Uh, Deathloop, which was like the main attraction of the show, um, they showed off more Deathloop. And I'll be honest, like, I don't. Seeing more Deathloop really isn't doing anything for me. I'm already interested in the game. I'm already, I'm already buying it day one. The, the more gameplay they show doesn't really impress me. It's not that it looks bad, but they're, I don't, they're just not showing or displaying anything to me that's like, okay, this is impressing me more than what you showed me the last time. Especially since I feel like uh, this game, this game looks, is, is honestly like a Dishonored spinoff. It, it's like... Every time I look at this game, it, it's literally just dishonored from the powers. Um, it, it's really just dishonored in first person. Well, dishonored is isn't first person, but it's yeah, a dishonored yeah. first person shooter, I should say. That's yeah, you know, versus that's really a is. traversal game, right? Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Thoughts on uh, Death Loop Jack? You still capping and saying you're not buying this or playing this? I mean, I'm playing it because you buying it, but uh, other than that, I mean, hey man, it oh, is what you, it is, bro. You game sharing? Yes, sir. I mean, definitely. I mean, it, it looked like what it, is like, this trash know. game on the screen right now? That's Monster Hunter, Hunter. the one Hunter. we just talking about. Yeah. Half alternatively, it remind me of like a Game Pass game. BG, it looks you know, it looks decent. Uh, but you like Arcane? About... Don't do that because you like. I like. Arcane. I like. I like one of Arcane's games. I still haven't played Dishonored 2. It's still, it's still sealed on the shelf right now. I'm, I'm going to pull that thing out, though. My thing with Balls. this uh, Death Loop is this, right? I'm seeing mixed things about this game. At first, PlayStation guys was rocking with this game heavy. Even mm -hmm. after the Bethesda acquisition by Microsoft, PlayStation fans were still, you know, highly touting this game. We can't wait to play it. Then after the, a couple of delays, now I'm seeing a lot of PlayStation games uh, gamers saying, fuck this game, right? So I'm just, I'm really just trying to see what's going on with it. Uh, me personally, I could I I can live without it, you know what I mean? I'm gonna check it out. If it now if it's a good game, I'm gonna say, yeah, this was a good game. I was wrong. I, I thought I thought I ain't need to play it. But if it's uh, if it's a mid game, I'm just gonna keep it pushing. You see what I'm saying? I, I think a lot of That's people are butt hurt butt hurt about that acquisition, man. I ain't gonna lie. I think a lot but of they people were still about they were still capping for the game after when they was using that game to brag about Xbox not having no game still. They said we got mm. Deathloop, we got Ghostwire Tokyo. And I'm like, bro, but they has to make both them games. Like, what are y'all doing? But now, <laughs> now they're like, fuck this game. But it was like, um, I don't know. I'm confused. Okay, I'm confused. This game looked like it's worth a good run. Oh my bad, but oh, it looked like okay. it's a good run. No, I'm no, I'm just saying it, it, it's it's worth a good shot. I, 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 I can see somebody trying it. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna um you know buy it support you know Xbox first party studio but buy it on you no know, place to see what is what's good it's gonna be my beta until it comes out for Xbox next year. Oh, so I'm the, beta year. Call. <laughs> the, the, the beta. The beta. Yes sir. Yes sir. Oh man. 
That's so crazy. That's what PC gamers used to do. Used used to uh, say, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna let y'all console dudes beta test it for me for like a year." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you play the beta media, card. Man. That's crazy. He ain't wrong, man. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Death Loop that comes out September. That's like the end of September. I can't remember the exact date. It's like September 14th or something like that. I think it's 14th. Yep, something like that. All right. Um, what else was there? There was uh, Tribes of Midgard. Be honest, be honest with you, I don't even know. What to remember what that Midgard was. Midgard is me and yeah, you got the right title. Yeah, I'm not. I, 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 I looked at a little bit of this game. It don't look bad. I mean, it's like a good multiplayer game, but uh, that's it. If you got like, if you got a, a few people who want to play some games or whatever, play a game. To- Lose them. I think that uh, they put that on PS Plus next month. I think. I think they are. I thought my Wi-Fi messed up again. Yeah, me too. Uh, no, Blanche was constantly too. going off. It's like confusing me, bro. But you're not saying nothing. Why your mic be doing that? Who me? Yeah, your mic is just constantly like lit up, but it's no yeah, sound. Yeah, your mic is always lit. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Ball, are you there? Because he, he he had to cut out. Oh, I cut out. My bad. What what last thing you heard me say? About getting the people together to play the game. Oh no, it just looks like a good multiplayer game. I mean, it it has like the top down look of uh, you know, Tomb Raider, or it's not like Hades, but it has that. It has that camera angle like it, but it's nothing uh nothing to jump on and say I want to get right away. It looks okay. Uh Jet the Offshore. No, I don't even remember what this is. What either. the fuck it's, is that? Jet the I, 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 I'm pretty was sure that, that, that was ship game or something or Huh? Did I even see that? Jet the Offshore. Let me go uh, look that I up. just let me see. Jet the Offshore invites. Oh you yeah, to that's the inst- one that that's the the uh the, the Starfield S game. It looked like yeah, flowers. With, with the spaceship and it was flying around and the people had <laughs> Yeah, it says uh Jet invites you on an interstellar trip to carve out a future for a people haunted by oblivion in this cinematic action adventure as Scout and Anchorite may be the first to deploy to a mythic ocean planet. Take the helm of a jet and explore a vast unknown. Okay, it's one of those games. You're not even on Google. What the hell? <laughs> something it, it, it's something i would not play it it's it, it just a, it looks it kind of reminds me of flower it's just that's just the, what the vibes i'm getting yeah what what's that uh, what's that other game that, uh that initially he scammed people <laughs> and then came oh, back oh, and made the game better no man's sky no man's sky. Yeah. No sky yeah 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 it's like flower and no man's sky put together that's what it kind of looks like to me yeah yeah yeah, I'm good on that. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a pass for me. Um, Lost Judgment was there. I'm not sure why. It's not a new game. <laughs> no, it's, it is. It's, 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 a sequ- it's a sequel. It's bro. a sequel to the original game. What's the What's the original game called? Judgment. I it was the same game. Oh, oh well, I thought it was the same game. Shit. No, Lost Judgment was the Judgment same game sequ- too. No, it's a sequel to Judgment. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Y- y- yeah, I couldn't, like, right. you know, kind of switch up the, give it a different name to make it clear it's a sequel. It's called Lost Judgment, BG. It's not called Judgment anymore. Hey, man, I couldn't tell the difference. Even even the cover, I looked at the cover of it, it kind of looked the same. I thought it was the same game, honestly. I just thought they were just, I, I don't know. And yeah, But I don't pay attention to these Yakuza games, Yakuza, Yakuza spinoffs. You know, I ain't, I ain't playing them, so. Uh, what else was there from this uh, mid showing? Um, this free to play game, I th- uh, Ar- Arcade Again. Yes, it- it's yeah, on, I heard pl- about that. on PlayStation and the Epic Game Store. I, I think, I think you-, you can play yeah. that right now. Uh, yeah, it's already out. Yeah. yeah, I watched I watched Persona play it. It looked all right, I guess. It looked look like Fortnite mixed with like splatoon or something i don't know what the yeah, fuck they are. That, that's the vibe i got from like a fortnite style vibe to it yeah yeah man yeah. new online game no bg you fucking with that no nah, i'm good you've been looking for new online games to play man and it's third on, person good online What's games it? nah i'm gonna pass on that oh, are you okay okay yeah i'm good on that um death stranding director's cut launch ah, yeah. 
date. So, uh, yes, sir. Fire. Let's get it. So, yeah, this is the director's cut. Why Why is uh, all these PlayStation games doing director's cut? What happened to Game of the Year edition? Or I like, I like that. I like that. I like the terminology. I like that. Oh, uh, no. Direct. It's, it's uh, more, more regal, more, more majestic. Yeah, because they added more stuff to it. You can't call it Game of the Year and just have the same stuff. Yeah, man. You can't call it Game of the Year when it's trash. That's true. Wow. Because, you know, like... Mm-hmm. Like devs used to like name their their com- the complete package of their game the game of the year edition even though it never won game of the year so uh, you know <laughs> like they just yeah, got didn't that. didn't game of the year editions normally come with all the content that it released during the game's original life or what yeah yeah, yeah this yeah. is brand new stuff that was never released before so they can't call that's, it game of that's the year true edition. that's true okay so this and is they coming can't call out it remastered either so yeah. This is coming out <laughs> September 4th. Um, and uh, PS5 players can upgrade their PS4 copy of the game um, to the director's cut for $10. Yes, um, the, sir. Game, the game will feature new story, new story missions, battles, and combat mechanics. He's adding completely new combat mechanics. Maybe that should have been in the first game to actually make it more as make it more of an actual game instead of a delivery service. Maybe that should have been in there. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Like you don't you don't think that's kind of crazy? Like, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to think about this. He's adding combat mechanics, but that wait a game, minute, that the, the game, game was probably lacking no, in the first place. No, no, he adds shit like tur- turrets you can drop down and different guns. You already got combat in the first game. You can oh. shoot motherfuckers and kill them, or you can go, um, you know non-lethal which is better because if you kill people you create them uh black hole shits i, I don't see why you don't like this game BG. i it's don't stealthy. know it's, man it's, i think it's got I everything if, you like in the game bg why you don't like this game because it's called i think if this one called Jima, you would be fucking with it bro i i just listen I, but that's the thing i i like metal gear i mean so why don't you like this game it's got some, some metal gear uh elements no, this game is just bad. Yeah, Sony's um, attached to it and everything. It's not, it's not a bad game. Sony's attached to it. What that mean to me? A lot. <laughs> I mean, a lot, Mister Quality you know, on Twitter, Mister Hard. That bonus, that bonus thing for you, you know, when Sony's attached to it, you know. We we Listen. see how you treat Sony uh, products, uh, BG. Hey, I, I, hey, Sony is synonymous with quality. How how else can I treat? Facts. It? These are you facts. Gotta, but you got to treat it with respect, dog. Yes, sir. You know, you know what it is, but see, yo, Kojima, man. Hey, listen, Ko- bro. Kojima. How the hell did how the hell did the American Olympic team lose in Nigeria? I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that was that was crazy. Holy that, that, that was crazy, bro. They like, was projected to win by 30 points too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were like a 28 point uh, favorite and shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> but I, I feel like if this was anybody else besides Kojima and this man. I'm not knocking adding more content, but like combat mechanics, I feel like th- if this was somebody else, they should have been like, uh, they, they would have been like, oh, this is, they, they're uh, adding combat mechanics as DLC. They would have, they would have twisted it as that. How come this man not getting that smoke? It's not a Sony first party game. That's why he gets away. With oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Man, it, it, it's it's the, it's the Lord and Savior Kojima. So they, they yes, letting it slide. Sir. Now nah, okay. they threw it on PC, so you know all that stuff goes out the window. So, so, oh, the, game, right, right. so the game itself, the re-release is seventy bucks. No, no, the game, the, the um, the PS5 version of the game is, I think it's fifty dollars. It's forty nine ninety nine. Um, if okay. you already got the PS5 version, you get you can upgrade for ten dollars and get the digital deluxe edition of the PS5 version. And uh, it was one more. I forgot the other one. But yeah, this not no this not no full uh this not no full. I think the digital deluxe edition by itself is like sixty, fifty nine ninety nine on PS5. If you ain't got it already. Hmm. All right, all right. Uh what very, else? Very very reasonable there? price. There you go. Well, um Death Stranding's trash. I just want to say that as much as I can. Oh uh, boy. That <laughs> game is horrible. That game should not exist. And uh, shout out to once yeah. again, shout out to Xbox. If the rumors are true, Xbox is getting the better Kojima game, the game that you know he didn't decide to just you know throw shit in the pot and uh, you know take his the dumbass liberties that Sony gave him. Hopefully, you know Xbox gives him a handler because you know that that nigga needs a handler or he just he goes crazy. He's insane. So I look I look forward to his <laughs> next game. You know you know 
every, you know. You sure? Every, you sure about that? You sure about that? Listen, everybody has, and, you know, everybody has and, misses. You okay, can't but this is my this is my thing with you too, though, right? You said he needs a handler or he go off the hinges, and Xbox is gonna get a better version of his game. When has the term Xbox and getting a hold of their developers ever mm. been like? Come didn't, on, bro. Didn't Rare restart their game or whatever the hell it was called? They did. Everwild, yeah. But I don't think I don't think Microsoft being really being that this is going on an Xbox console. I think Kojima has to understand that audience because you know Death Stranding honestly didn't do that well. You know, like I said, honestly, it flopped. If we're being real. Um, and and it didn't do that well, and it was on a PlayStation platform. Your question. So what? what so does, if if, what? if Death Stranding launched on if if Death Stranding launched on Xbox exclusively, it would have went double copper. Okay, but double thing, aluminum. Though, let me ask you a question. What what about Xbox? Judging by Xbox gamers and what they crave and desire, what that should be a, a turn off to you thinking it's gonna be a better game. Xbox fans play anything they can get their hands on. He he's really gonna, he's, he, He's oh, gonna make move. a safer game. <laughs> move, you played a game where you play a, a raining a rainy cloud uh painting shit. I don't think you really have too many high standards when it comes to the boys over there at Team as, Green, man. As long as you can give them some easy Bro, achievements, they'll hype it to the moon. Title. It's not a first party title. That was a game pass points title. But what, what's the last five games you played, Smooth, on your what? Xbox? Uh, uh Scarlet Nexus, so that um that's okay. one. Um and uh, I'm playing the Watch Dogs Legion um, Bloodline expansion right now. Oh, the other shit you played, uh, Tiddly Top Heroes, what that shit was called? You talked about the other week. What was it? Oh, some heroes in the title. I don't know. Oh, Unruly Heroes. I was just uh, using that at the pool when I was on xCloud. That's oh, okay. Okay. The, the, the point is, he has, to pl- he has to make something safer. Um. Because listen, these these I just dis- I, dis- I disagree. I disagree. And God forbid, God forbid, it's not on Game Pass because you know these Xbox niggas ain't buying nothing. It's so he's gonna be on Game. Pass. So, so <laughs> he, if he still has to make a game that's safe, that Bro. the Xbox crowd would actually be into, because uh, you know they not open minded like PlayStation dudes. You know, nigga, they play grounded. They playing grounded. Well, they playing. No, they don't. That's PC gamers. Bro, they Facts. they waiting on the game where you walk around a photorealistic house and turn on the the sink like they not P- PC <laughs> PC gamers are single handedly keeping Sea of Thieves alive. Listen, if you think that's Xbox what? dudes playing Sea of what? Thieves on Xbox, you're highly I'm mistaken. Gonna, I, I, I I I I can agree with that. I'm, I'm with you on that, BG. I, I believe so. Disagree. Well, what? Okay, so let me what, I again. I ask you, what 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 games are Xbox console like gamers like. playing to where you think they just are asking for quality. I don't see that. It, 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 see, they're not asking for quality, but they're asking for a a more conventional gameplay type. Like he's not gonna make he he's not okay. He's not gonna try to create a new genre for Xbox dudes. He tried to create a new genre with Death Stranding. He's not gonna do that with Xbox dudes. I don't know, man. This go Jamie we talking about. He be trying a lot of wild shit. So basically, so basically, the only two genres that stand a chance is shooting or racing. Is what okay, you're saying? So you're gonna make a, a racer where you shoot out the window, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna make a fucking South Memphis simulator. Okay, that's beautiful. And I, I don't, I don't see Kojima going traditional shooter either. I just don't see that happening. Yeah, you don't know what to expect out of Kojima, but I'm, just in general, I mean, you just need that. Xbox in general just need to make some games with some really unique, fun ideas. Oh, no, no, like no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They don't I'm need sorry. to make anything unique. unique they just ideas. need to make a good um, game. I'm, 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 who, who makes games with unique, fun ideas? I'm, I'm just kidding. Why, why I can't be that, that's the thing. That, I'm, I'm just saying, that's the thing. If they did, they'd be the only ones doing it. I mean, they need, to, I mean, they need they something need different, unique man. Unique ideas, or they just need good games. Doesn't have to be unique. Yeah, and well, Kojima. The, the, the next five games that launch exclusively for Xbox are all going to score between an 88 and a 92. So, oh, oh, like, repeat oh, that. Oh, 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 stop, stop, stop. I smell money right here. I was say, the, the, the next, how many games are going to score between five what? games are going to score between 88 and a 92. I'm, and what are these games? Yeah, it's Psychonauts are, Flight Simulator and something else. Uh, uh, freaking the accent, uh, fucking um, Forza oh, no. and Halo. The accent. What else? The ascent. Forza, the ascent. The ascent. <laughs> Not the accent, but the ascent. Okay. 
said Forza, Halo. Uh, what other? Uh, Psychonauts what's the next? Two. Psychonauts and Flight two. Simulator. Flight Simulator. Yep. Psychonauts too. Like it might get about seventy-seven at this motherfucker. All right, smoke. You the lost, bro. Uh, <laughs> I mean. Uh, 88, that strong 80, 80, 88 and 92, you're saying, all right? hmm So I'll make you a bet right here. Oh, make boy. a big one. Every game that scores above an 88, you win. Every game that scores below an 88, I win. And we'll take the totality of the five, and we'll average them out to one bet. Oh, all right, Let, let's talk more about it the after dark. So I might have to um, open that range up a little bit just by a couple points. A couple. Hold on, who do you think you are, Skip Bayless? That's better game on each one, man. Since you're so confident, and smooth, why not? Fuck it. Game per man. Well, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'm gonna let y'all discuss that in after dark. Um, okay. Yeah. But that's that's a bold prediction there. Why he do that to himself, man? Extremely bold. Yeah. That's definitely bold. Um so yeah, Kojima. Uh yeah, I guess I guess I hope y'all enjoy that director's trash version of Death Stranding. BG don't uh, like nothing, do it. Uh no, no, I don't like nothing but good games. Only that. That's why you're a Sony fan, right? Yeah, I mean, listen, Kojima, listen, just Kojima. Put, just say what you're gonna say, B. Just know why you play on PlayStation. Listen, just put it listen out Ko- Kojima is is a, a great developer, but like every everybody misses one time, right? Everybody has off you years. You only like one of his games though, right? No, I I've I've liked a, an entire series of one of his games. That's that's different. Okay. That's different. I thought you only like one and, Metal Gear, okay. I mean, and here's the thing, right? He hasn't since I've gotten into his games. He hasn't made anything, anything else besides Death Stranding. Like, you don't like, you don't like Zone of the Enders. I never, pl- I never, I never played Zone of the Enders. Like, okay. Didn't Metal he make Gear- those three D Castlevania games on PS3 and 360? Not to my knowledge. Nah, not that I know of. Are you? Sh- nah. Let me check this. Zone nah, of the Enders. I don't, Enders think, Co- I don't think Kojima got anything to. Well, I don't before. think Kojima got anything to do with Castlevania. I'm not sure. Well, Zone of the Enders was 2003. Wait. Yeah, it was it's, 2003. It was a PS2 totem. game. It's two of them games, right? And it came out on VR. Yeah. The remake, the oh, it was 2001. Well, it, it was my time, but I ain't playing that trash. Um, you weren't playing shit in 2001. You weren't even playing EA Big games back then. Oh, shut your ass up. Well, your childhood was weird. My Jeez. childhood was amazing, sir. Sure. What games you play, man? Uh, don't worry about it. I was living elegantly playing the games I wanted to play. I didn't care about what's, from what, the, what, from what, what you play some of the games on a nigga trench coat. What you mean, elegant? Oh, for the guy <laughs> upset. Oh, he you had to dick out there to play some of the games. Listen, nigga, what are you talking oh, about? Oh, you, you see? You, you always got to be sus. You always got to be sus. See, you listen, have to I didn't. Nigga I, dick out I, I didn't play some of them games. How's it elegant? See, here you, you, here you go being weird again. Here you go being weird. It was again, romantic, man. maybe for a nigga like you, but I don't want to say elegant. Listen, I wouldn't say elegant. I played. I played the games as as a youngling, as a as a lad. I played the games I wanted to play. I didn't care about what society told me, what the what the rest of the hood was playing. Oh, NBA, NBA, fuck nigga, and NBA, fuck nigga too. I didn't care. Oh, the great games. I wanted great to play. Games. Great games. Zone of the Enders is not a society game, BG. It's an internet game that people talk about. Like no, no, I, I, played, I, was, but... I was no, I wasn't talking about Zone of the Enders. I was talking about like you know the 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 games that everybody told told me you were supposed to be playing with your friends at this time of your life and all that. Man, f them, f them niggas, f them niggas, and what they was playing. I was playing my own games. Having <laughs> fun, and then you were sitting there looking stupid, playing some bullshit. Yeah, all right. Why right. well, you got no friends, BG? All right. We here for you. We here for you now. I'm your, I'm your friend now, BG. Jack, I'm all you step need. on your fat ass. Shut up. I'm all, I'm all you need, BG. Yeah. Okay. Hey, as far as Kojima, he played an advisory role in the making of Lords of Shadow, but he was not a producer or anything else outside of Castlevania. Oh, he was slightly involved in. Okay. Yeah, he was slightly involved, but he, you know, he he. He basically asked him, "Hey, this might be this, or this might be that." Yeah, yeah. Kojima's a narcissist, so he might have like looked at, looked at the game and not did nothing, mm-hmm. and they just gave him credit because you know he You're right. He'll, he'll do something like that. Yeah. You know. And uh, I think that was uh, no, there was one more game. Oh, what was it? It was it was one more game that they showed a state of play. It was like a um, 
an RPG. Yeah, you talking about that uh, Hunter's Arena game, right? Yeah, that, that, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. that one. Oh, is that, that the game that came away on Plus? One of them games. Yeah, it's coming straight to PlayStation Plus. Okay, it's already on PC, I, I believe. It's already on PC. Yeah, the, the yeah. game's been out on PC since last year, but it's it's coming to to PlayStation now. It's a battle royale um, RPG game, yeah, RPG type yeah. game, yeah. So, uh, but you know, I was looking at some reviews of it because it's already on Steam. It you know, people giving it like five and five out of tens and six out of tens, uh, you know. Yeah, it, it's been on Steam since uh, last year. Mixed reviews. PC gamers giving it five and six out. Oh god. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's me. <laughs> I know, I know yeah. that shit trash for PC gamers right now. PC gamers will play anything. God damn. Right. Yeah, you got some. The most helpful review is from somebody that refunded the game. So that's all you need to know. BG. Hey man. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Help, the most helpful review is from somebody who refunded it. Eesh. <laughs> um. Yeah. So uh, what else? Hey, oh, we yeah. need to read some of these. What you call us too? Yeah, uh, so that was the state of play. It was mid. Really wasn't worth watching. Um, but but according to uh, a whole bunch of uh, self-proclaimed insiders, um, there's going to be a show in, in, in August, and, and that's when the, the, the heavy hitters and, and, you know, the blockbuster <laughs> games are going to be shown. <laughs> you know the, the the God of Wars and 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 you know the Horizon Forbidden West release dates. Who y'all supposed to be? Who y'all supposed to be? <laughs> hey man, you know just I know y'all ain't talking like talk about my homie man. Y'all fall back. Oh man, listen man, I'm just saying you know, you know the the likes of like Tidux and listen we and uh likes of Tidux Wonton. and, and, and Wonton. No, nah, what's know, those that new types. that new dude? That new gay game developer. It's this black gay game developer on uh Twitter. I'm talking about he ninety eight point three percent sure the game is. That, that's a rap station on the radio in my my area. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> like, bro, what? is he uh tra- is he transracial too? I don't know. Oh, I was gonna follow him until I went to his profile picture. Something it said something about uh I talk about dick on the on the timeline. Oh, no. right, I'm some. Get- I don't know. Uh, listen, he was wrong. That's all I know about him. Uh, he he's. Gets very, you know, defensive when you tell him he's wrong. I don't, I don't know. Man. Shout you don't to need him. to hear about these irregulars. Hey, man, shout out to him, though. Oh, uh, uh, here he come. Clinton. Here is Wonton. Black Jason Schreier, he calls Clinton. himself. What do you want, sir? <laughs> Look, Black uh, okay. Jason Schreier. Uh, 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 all right. Uh, first of all, first of all, naming n- naming your yourself after somebody else, I don't I don't know if that's the move. But you, you want to update us on... Uh, the, what's what's the latest uh, rumors? Because you know you be telling us everything's been delayed and everything. Like so, what what's what's bring us up to date? What's going on in August? All right, real quick, I'll make this quick, right? So I tweeted this a couple of days ago. There is a state of play for August. Uh, it's going to showcase first party games. You're going to see Horizon. They're going to announce the mm. release date. Mm. You're going to see God of War. Mm. You're going to see. Um, you might even see some surprises, but you're going to see Silent Hills. Mm. Uh, which is abandoned, by the way. Abandoned mm. is Silent Hills. Um, also, you know, it's crazy, BG. I just got done talking to my source. Mm. And he actually gave me the date for God of War 2, or Ragnarok. He gave what me is the it? Date. I'm going to just say it here, guys. God of War Ragnarok is scheduled for April 22nd, 2022. Okay. <laughs> Okay, no, no, listen, 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 listen. If you get this right, I will never make fun of you again. If you get this one right, I will never make fun of you again and call you a fake insider. Market calendars, April 22nd is coming. Y'all heard it, y'all heard it here I got, first. I, I, got, I got two things to say, first of all. Well, we got to get one time credit. He did announce the release date for um, Starfield. He actually got that right. Yes, sir. Did, yes, sir. You, you, you should have pushed it a little bit harder. I think you could have got more clout. But um, didn't you also say, Mr. Black Jason Schreier, that um, Abandon, which is Silent Hills, according to you and your source, mm-hmm. didn't you say they were going to show that at the last state of play, sir? Didn't you say? So, you're correct, Jack Move. But, if you remember, on the day of state of play, Ooh. earlier that day, I uh, tweeted an update. My source told God. me that the, the uh, reveal had been pushed to the next event. Oh, okay. So he waited till the day of to tell you this. Is that what you're telling me? It, it was a last minute decision, Jack. It was a last minute decision. Who is this, okay. Dr. Stray? 
<laughs> Abraham um, a LinkedIn. Before I go, a couple other things before I go. I don't know if you guys saw it. I did tweet this. Uh, Horizon Forbidden West. The internal release date is September seventeenth of this mm. year. Mm. Um, it's not official yet, which is why you haven't gotten an official tweet about it. But that's the internal release date. And then also um, the expandable SSDs for PS5s. That update is set for the end of this month um, or the uh, beginning of August. Bro, so, hold up, hold up, real quick. Y'all motherfuckers need to hit this like button. One seventy-five. Jeez. Read, read them super yeah, chat, Jack. We we read have a pro- super chats. We have a prolific insider in here right now telling like us all, all the <laughs> upcoming. Y'all ain't gonna, gonna hit the like button for that. Read them man. super. Jack, super chat See, break. I, I, and and I knew Tony was gonna come in here. Tony's yeah, gonna want to get Wonton up out of here. I'm trying this to get one ton crazy. out of here. One 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 to the video. They want to rewatch and 175. Um, Yoki, I'm not subscribed to your channel, so I don't know what video you're talking about, sir. Oh man, this nigga one ton tried to charge me a hundred for for on the record comment. He acts in Hollywood now. This shit crazy. It's two hundred now. It's two hundred now. It's two hundred. That shit need to be at the 300. You hate you, you charging niggas for inside information? Hey, man. I'm in high demand right now. What can I say? Oh, boy. Hey, All right. Hey, oh, boy. Hey, Tony. Right. Yes, sir. What, why why are you in there after you? you did you release a, a, a diss video on Weapon Wheel this week, bro? What's going on? Yes, sir. I'm objective. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Get out. Oh, you mean? Yeah, 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 how you going yeah, yeah, to yeah, 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 homies yeah, and they go up in here like everything hey, good, man? You talking yeah, spicy what you this mean? Chill, what you mean? B- yeah, BG, this guy says he don't hit the like button for rumors and fake news. You hit the like button for the first hour and a half of the podcast, you get a time. Exactly. Wait, 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 Yoki, but, Tony. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What would you say about me? I ain't say nothing about you. I say you a good addition. I say you a good addition. Thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah, this shit crazy. I say, I say you a good addition and BG and Jack Harry in the podcast right now. Okay, wait a minute. That's facts. But you also said Bond shouldn't be on the podcast. <laughs> I remember saying that. <laughs> I, said bon, I said Bond ever since Ike Samuels came around back to a little different. I don't know. Ever since what? <laughs> yeah, Ike Samuels put that battery in your bag recently, man. I don't know. Who? Bond? <laughs> yeah. Ike Samuels. I, I think Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels. Okay. No, 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 no. Jack, Jack and um, BG will tell you I've been on my fuck shit for years. Yes, sir. No, no. I, th- I think you might you, you might be back to normal now, Mocha Gun, though. You might be back to normal. Oh, God. Oh, man. You was that a little different with some black queens in here, but I don't know. Was, it, was, it, was that you on that channel earlier? Which one? Zaddy or whatever? No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> don't associate me with that guy. Hey man, super oh, chat no. break. We shouldn't do that. Hey man, yeah, super break, chat man. break till these likes get to three hundred. God, I just damn. came in to catch one time slipping, man. But he dips. So I'm gonna head out too. I'm gonna so catch we, you later. All right, bro. So we got Black Hawk the Blood Edge. He donated seven dollars and forty two cents for some odd reason, but we appreciate it. It says, "Before you phase it out, BG still owes me two game streams." Oh, who? Somebody Black Hawk the Blood Edge said that. I do. I guess so. He gonna have to hit me up. I don't. I, I don't. Um, mocha stiff. <laughs> mocha stiff. Uh, stiff. I can't even say it. Scalp. That's a very disrespectful name. It says, "Dang, I just wanted to join in on the topics, bro. Watch your mouth, uh, sir. Uh, we got Shout Chief Miyagi. Absolutely, we got Chief Miyagi. He said Jack plays Old Town Road and Mont- uh, Montero to increase his confidence. Hashtag Hot Boy Summer. Absolutely, we have Fear is the greatest motivator. It says, Hey Jack, for the next Jiggy Food vid, can you try eating ass? My girl asked me to try it, and I'm scared, and I'm in need of a review. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, talk, I sometimes do Jiggy Food with my homegirl uh, Nuha. I see how she feel about that. And then my, uh, let me see here. What we going? It says. Crypto Millennial, he says, this question is for all the cast members. How often do you clean your controllers slash keyboard and mouse? Well, Mostly. we know Jack never does. I don't game with dirty hands, so I'm not, I'm not from Brooklyn. We seen the controller, Jack. You can't deny this no more. That joint was dirty. <laughs> it was in the dark, BJ. I cleaned it off after that. Y'all was hating on me. Yeah, okay. How do you uh, clean your controllers, BG, you dirty bastard? Huh? <laughs> One, like once a week. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, probably, yeah, we, yeah. Clearly, we don't believe that, but carry yeah. on. I, uh, I right. absolutely, I absolutely do because I, as as a human, see the rest of you niggas think y'all are like aliens and think y'all skin don't shed and y'all don't got skin particles. But I realize mine comes off, you know, and on this white controller, it shows. So, but I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, 
I'm I'm selling the white controllers. I'm gonna have all black controllers. Get Post them a likes, right now. Three hundred likes. Yeah. I, I I got my white controller packed up right now. So I'm, uh, I'm it's <laughs> probably sure broken. Sure you, sure you do, pal. Yeah, I clean right. my controllers maybe once a month. Yeah. Rubbing yeah. alcohol well, in its smooth. Perfect. You probably never need to clean it. You probably use one controller, put it back in the box, and buy a new one. Facts. <laughs> A dominant controller that Did you see what the mo- the top most five sold things on Xbox are right now? Oh, are they boy. all controllers? Yep, those are the well, top five accessories. Other than other than games, because well, yeah, they don't they don't say it by games like, but they use Game Pass. So. Yep. All right, we got a we got Lone Wolf Gamer, The Last of Us. He says Jack moved the type to get twerked on by Little Nas X. Uh, devil emo general, what they do? Well, the nigga is rich, but no, no, I wouldn't do that. Uh, <clears throat> Lone Wolf Gamer T. Lou says, Why Jack look like he beat off to PS Live events? Sir, 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 the slander must stop. Appreciate the donation. We got Jazzy Jefferson. He says, Shout out to the podcast. Monster Hunter Stories 2 gameplay provided by yours truly. We appreciate you, my guy. We got brain cells on fire. He said, Death Strand is complete and utter trash. Got me delivering boxes? Fuck out of here. We got Nelson Wappen Sappho. What? Uh, it says, why did BG not review quality Ratchet and Clank? Great question. BG. I didn't I didn't I didn't get to Ratchet and Clank. I haven't been playing no games for the past. You ain't play Ratchet and Clank yet? What the hell? No, no, I haven't been playing because like like look, I haven't been playing no games for the past month. You know, I'm 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 adulting right now. I'm in the I'm adulting. moving at the end of the month. I'm waiting to to play games in my new setup. So, uh, you know, I can be fully immersed in uh, in the atmosphere, you know, of, of my new oh, setup. Oh, non-rat infested internet. That too. So I'm I'm waiting. I don't want to play any games right now until I put my new setup together at my new place. We got DQ's Blizzards. He says, I am here for the Switch OLED slander. Sorry, Blandrew. We got Blessed011. He said, when one time mentioned he had a reliable source, he was talking about... Dark soy sauce. Okay, there you go. Uh, we got Tarek Ahmed. He said, Ax Samuels was born in the New York subway flood water. Okay. We got Lone Gamer, uh, Lone Wolf Gamer T. Lou. He says, Jack move related to EDP 445. Hashtag wow. Big Big Musty. I don't know what you're referring to, sir. Yo, whatever happened to that dude? Is, is, he, is he locked up or some shit? No, he's, he's, he's not. He's not locked up. He, he, he came back on up. Facebook. He came back on Facebook, tried to make a site, and I think they took it down or something. That Son nigga, the last week I seen him, I, I'm not joking. The nigga was twerking for donations. I'm not. <laughs> I can't make this shit up, bro. It was on his own website. The shit was hilarious. Did you donate? Oh, fuck no. What I look like? A weirdo. Why were you watching the video in the first place, though? It was for it was like 40 seconds, and they said it's the new EDP video. I click on the nigga already shaking his ass. What you? <laughs> I ain't clicking off then. I gotta see how it ends, bro. <laughs> She was crazy. But that's it. Okay. You still haven't um, hit 300 likes, so we might as well just keep going. Hey, man. This so, shit uh, crazy. 266. I, yeah, yeah, I can I'm get it. How about them Cowboys, man? What's going on? Let's, let's, let's get some sports talk in this motherfucker. You know what I mean? Oh, hold on. Here we go. Tarek Ahmed donated said EDP is definitely a Nintendo fan. Oh, man. Mm. Yikes. Yeah. Um,. Uh, was about to say you like you really gonna buy this monster hunter game i already did you talking to me or bg this game looks like trash i think i'll like <laughs> it i think i'll like it the, the, OBJ, OBJ, obj jr bond how do you twist a person like a rubik's cube my new name is the origami killer Ooh, i like it okay there you go <laughs> 275, 25 more people. Yeah, it's crazy that please... there's 600 people watching, and we don't even have 300 likes. Can y'all yeah, please just true. hit it? Hit, just, can y'all please just hit that real quick so I can get on to the next topic? Would appreciate Whoa, it. BG? Yeah, oh, you yeah. have to you have to start getting that dial tone, BG. That 56k. Jack, you've been acting like an entire freak Ooh. this whole podcast, bro. I'm gonna need Yo. you to like. What are you talking about, bro? What are you talking right, about? Man. Yo, you know what BG should do, Jack? What's up? When the likes are down, he should just get like a bunch of like rat sounds, like rats in a subway or some <laughs> shit, and just play that. Hey, I you do believe you... his head out the window. 
You said you got freaked out by some rat game this week, right, Jack? I, de- I definitely did, bro. Yeah. I can't, uh, Plague I can't Innocence do... Tale? Yeah. I was liking the game, too, but that, that whole just mechanic and I, ugh, that shit's gross. What, was that a, so I'm, uh, is that a sequel? Because isn't the game A Plague's Tale? Isn't that just... No, no it, was, it was always called A Plague's Tale Innocence. The second they, one is coming out soon. Yeah, they announced a sequel, though. Oh, I, n- I never knew the first one was called in this. I thought it was just a Plague's Tale. It's actually, it was a good game. It's all that fuckery, man. I still want that to was about a, That's all I was about to ask you, because I was watching you stream it. I was, like, I was wondering why you stopped, but now you say, the, the rats got to you? Part of me want to re-download it and try to beat that shit and just, like, get over it, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, bro. And then, like, the dual sense, they interact with the dual sense now, and then, like, when you die, oh, my God. It's just too much, but... that's how game, I am about. The, the, the game itself is not that bad. No, it's not a bad game at all. I just don't like the the subject. People were game. telling me that it's a Last of Us copy. I keep hearing that too, but I, I it, it, no, it kind of no, those vibes, no. but it's not. It, it's not really. It's all be the only thing they get compared to the Last of Us is you escorting this little boy around. Yeah, it's not. It it it, it kind of had that vibe, but it, it's not really. It's not that. Nah, but Jack, I feel you. That's how I feel about Grounded. Like, as a game, I think it's amazing. But once they start throwing spiders and it's all in my face, I just, I go to the menu and I just turn it off. Yeah, yeah, don't fuck with spiders like that. Nah. Yeah, Yeah, it it could get a little over the top, but it's it's not a bad game, though. Okay. 98. Uh, Two more likes. Somebody is sitting by their computer and not hitting the like button. It's yeah, just, I, I bet you, you like can't smooth didn't even hit the like button. No, yeah, I, or, uh, my, my, the like button either. No, no, do like that. icon is blue. It's blue. Hit more so bland, like Drew. It. I just hit it. It should be hopefully at 300 now. 299. Bro, y'all are making 300 people are making this really difficult. 300. Man. I'm, I'm just going to go on and assume. Okay, there we go. 303. Um, Assassin's Appreciate Creed, it, everybody. Assassin's Creed Infinity is going to be an Assassin's Creed live service. Where's Jimmy? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let me see the details on this. Um, you know so, anything about this move? Because you, know, you actually still uh, like Assassin's I, I, Creed. You know, but the thing is, well, is I, deal with them. I don't know into details in regards to rumors, but I feel like if it's... But I think it's going to be, it's going to be no different than what it is now. The the current model of Assassin's Creed is damn near games as a service right now. Um, you know, the, the game is, it itself has a ton of live events. A lot of things occur in a game that is like, that is randomized. Like, for example, uh, you had one week they added a festival to your um, settlement. And they're, for that week, a real life week, you could do missions and earn different like um you know items and, and stuff like that for that week only and then after the week was up the festival was gone and now the festival from what i hear comes like maybe once every couple months it's like equivalent to like once a year or something like that but um and then they've also had like trials and like events taking place in the middle of the the game that you can do that were all like timed um and the games have been over the last three games each game has lasted at least three plus years in content that went well beyond the actual campaign. Yeah. Yeah. Like somebody posted like the length of each Assassin's Creed games, like, you know, as it progressed through the series and, and it's just gotten so, you know, inflated with like filler. Um, the last three, you know, go over a hundred hours. The game, each, each one before that, like before the last three, um, were like, range from like 20 to 50 hours and then the last three just went all the way up to like 100 plus hours like to to yeah. for com- for absolute completion which is you know really inflating the game for no reason so um but let this let me just read this real quick so it says uh ubisoft confirmed it's developing assassin's creed infinity writing in a blog post that it's a collaborative cross studio because you know they be having like 10 studios work on one game um A collaborative cross-studio structure between Ubisoft Montreal and Ubisoft Quebec. Uh, They will guide, grow, evolve, and define the overall future of Assassin's Creed. Um, That includes an important upcoming early in-development project codenamed Assassin's Creed Infinity. And that's all the real, that's really all the information that they revealed. Somebody said I sound far away from the mic. Is that better? 
What mic uh, are you using, Smooth? I'm using the 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 Elgato mic that VG sent me. Nah, you sound fine, bro. He's all right. Yeah. Okay. Sound fine to me. Yeah. So I mean, Assassin's Creed was dead to me. You know, even way before this. So I mean, I I, I had hopes. Look, look. No, go ahead. No, because the question have, is the fact that yeah. they have all this filler. They have all this filler now. What does this gaming as a service style of Assassin's Creed is going to be? I, I expect it to be a shit ton of filler. Now it's it's going to be ridiculous. Uh, I suspect it's just going to be one game, and then um, yeah, and it, you they're just going to continually continually add events, add add content, similar to like how they do. Uh, you know how Destiny is, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. gonna be one big time waster. Pretty, pretty much, and you know that that way they could just continue. I, I think Jason Schreier said that doesn't mean that they're not gonna make other Assassin's Creed games, though. I th- th- think they still still might. Um, but this one is just gonna be a, a a live service, I guess, man. But listen, I, I, the only way I'm gonna play another Assassin's Creed game is if they, uh, you know, they bring it back. If they remove the the all the RPG elements. And actually bring it back Damn. to being a stealth a stealth game like how it was before. Like Assassin's Creed 2 or something like that? 2, yeah. Brotherhood, I yeah. mean, Revelation, yeah. yeah. Are these I, games... I, I, I never got into them, but it's just when I saw, saw this, I'm like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm probably better off going back to play the old ones because I always wanted to get into it, but I never did. But it's just not promising for me to, to start, you know, looking into the new stuff they got. I don't want to touch games... it personally. Are these games selling better than the uh, the classic Assassin's Creed or no? Yeah, yeah, uh, they're selling yeah. well. Like that, we can't like, but oh, but yeah. I, I think it's selling more because the series has become more popular and gaming has gaming itself has grown. I don't think it's it's selling more because the games are better. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just I just feel like I used to hear Assassin's Creed and see it play more back in the PS3 360 days. I don't believe yeah, like, that. Like I, I always used to see like people talk about it more and um, you know, post about Assassin's Creed more, but like now I don't, I don't really see that, you know. Like no, I, I think just the name Assassin's Creed has turned into more of a, it's, it's kind of a, a crossover. Like they hear the game and people that's not necessarily tied to game and know about the game now, so it gets more people in, you know, interested. It, that that's the vibe I'm getting. Why it's selling more, not necessarily because the games are actually what they used to be. Well, I'll tell you one platform Assassin's Creed isn't being played more on. When's the yeah. last time an Assassin's Creed was on the Switch? Uh, uh, it was on an. Int- it was on a games, right? What's up? Is it like Assassin's Creed India or one of those side scrolling Assassin's Creed games? <laughs> Assassin's no, Creed. I think, I think they did port one of the older Assassin's Creed to Switch. I remember being mad watching it on a Nintendo Direct. Why are you mad? I don't want to sit through that garbage. I'm trying to see greatness. Such as a new Monolith Soft game, a new Mario game, oh, something else, God. something coming out of Japan. Yo Can we talk Four. about how Monolith Soft is a very extremely overrated developer that's only made one good game in the past decade? Uh, no, because I love Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Yeah, but Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is not really a great game. You beat and Xenoblade Xeno- Chronicles 2? And Xenoblade Chronicles X is a terrible game. Did you beat Xenoblade Chronicles 2? No, that game runs like absolute trash. I played it for two hours and put it back in the box. Well, I played it for 200 hours, and I've come here to tell <laughs> you it's a good game. And you know I what? Like that. I like I that. Will, um, I'm about to pull a BG and play my uh, Monkey D. Luffy and play that game. Because, like, bro, that game doesn't... And it, that game be dropping below SD. Like, dead ass. Below standard definition? Yes. Well, like, Andrew said, I've not, come not, here to tell you it's good. <laughs> like we're not even talking about well, we're not even talking about welfare. We're talking about homelessness. Mm-hmm. Oh. And again, that's why a Switch Pro is needed. Because a lot of these Switch games, bro, I don't even know how else to be all be playing these games, to be honest. Yeah, um, like, we're gonna we're gonna trap, get to the switch dude. soon. Yeah, we're gonna get. What'd to you the say? Soon. So we're gonna oh. get to talk about the switch soon. Um, so uh, oh, Red Dead Redemption Two was getting DLSS support. 
tunes. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Maybe that game will um, go on sale for once so I can buy it. Oh, you still have oh man, that game I'd be wanting to play that game just again, just because, you know, it's way better on PC, but every time I play it, I try to. It feels like such a chore, bro. That, the micromanagement in that in that game is such a chore, man. I, I don't think I could do it again. Yeah, that's the feeling I got when I played on PS4. It's like, yeah, I want to go through it again, but because uh, there's a lot of stuff even on the PS4 I haven't done, and it, but it's just the things that you normally do. It just seems like it takes is a drag, but it's it's a very good game. Uh, okay. Um, the Last of Us HBO series has confirmed to be. Uh, the first season has con- is confirmed to be ten episodes long. Um, I don't think they told us uh, how long each episode is going to be, but I'm assuming it's going to be hour long episodes. That seems about right. That's how HBO does things. In most well, of that's funny that um, but the Last of Us is getting an HBO series. I could have sworn there was somebody in here that was saying that you know, Metal Gear was a bigger IP than The Last of Us at this point. I never said that. I said Metal Gear is a beloved series. It is not more beloved than the trash of us. I actually disagree with that, but... Well, sales say otherwise, so... I mean, like, that's what y'all Nintendo dudes like to do. You know, people bring up things like Horizon selling 10 million, but Zelda sold 25 million! So would you say Ring Fit Adventure is more beloved than something like Bloodborne? The fuck is Ring Fit Adventure? Ring Fit Adventure is a game that went on to sell over 10 million copies. Nigga, Ring Fit years. Adventure is not a game. It's a freaking exercise utility. It's a turn-based RPG with fitness as its selling point. <laughs> oh, actually, actually, uh, put out a good, I put out a good sweat playing that game the other day. <laughs> a good sweat? Oh, man, nice. yeah, come on, man. No, I'm, I'm dead serious. Ring, Ring Fit Adventure well, is a Ring Fit Adventure. Yes. We gonna bring up Wii Sports next. Yeah, that's, about, that, that's <laughs> another that's example. That's about not a game. Not, no, Wii, Wii, like, Wii Sports, Mario Party, Ring Fit Adventure, Wii Animal Sports Crossing. Something, Wii Sports is something played by old people and parents. They're not, they not people either. Games. They're not people. People then. No. Okay. Look. I'm did, very did Bond just say what, old people aren't people? No, <laughs> he, no what we're talk, I'm very strict <laughs> on what I call a, what I define as a gamer now because you know you got a company in Microsoft talking about who installs a bunch of games but never finishes them, who plays games on easy. Like this shit is just all fuckery now. We got the we got the born and broadband yeah. gamers, the born and 3D game now. Nah, like, let me ask you something. Do you think Luigi? Do you think Luigi's Mansion is more beloved than Resident Evil? Um, I don't believe so, but Resident Evil has had games that have sold shit tons more than Luigi's Mansion. How much is the best-selling Resident Evil game? Probably up 10 million. Luigi's Mansion 3 is at 10 million. Cool. That's great. That's How many great. games does Luigi's Mansion have? Three. And what's the combined sales of those three what, what do the other three games sell how much sales does metal gear as a franchise have probably not as the last much as the last of us yeah okay um the last of us the first one sold over 20 million the okay. best metal gear games sold what six and how many metal gear games are there what five no Oh, are you talking about Main like line. sp card games and shit? I'm, just talk- I'm just talking as a franchise I only they got count, five, they got five only, mainline I only games. I only count right? mainline games. Yeah. Mm. But all the other ones, Peace Walker, then you got... Yeah, I'm not MSQ, talking about Flop... I'm not talking about Flop Walker. The Metal MSX Gear, game. I'm not talking about Metal Gear Flaccid and all these other trash games. Uh, you got the MSX game and all the other stuff, yeah. There's only five mainline. Uh, Y'all gonna oh, have yeah, to so... accept uh, The Last of Us. I'm sorry, it's going to, but at least I got Pedro Pascal, somebody with Hispanic heritage, playing Joel, because I, I can trust a, a Hispanic person learning how to swing a bet. I okay. swear to God, the first episode or trailer comes out and this man can't swing a bat properly, it won't be a 15 minute video. Uh, and and uh, I can confirm the it's gonna it is gonna be an hour, um, each. So the first season is gonna be essentially ten ten hours long, and uh, it's of course gonna be staggered releases. 
No. Not all at once. It's going to be a... Because HBO... Uh, is yeah, I don't have a problem with staggered releases. Keeps you interested. Keeps people talking. Uh, aside from uh, the Last of Us series, so somebody found um, that there's a glitch in the Last of Us Part Two where you can catch up to Tommy and actually kill him. Well, really? You could, uh, you could stab him and you could like you know put him in a chokehold, but he I think he just respawns. He, you there's no there's no like you know storyline that that you know that connects to him dying. It's a bug, pretty much. But yeah, you can catch up to him and like attack him, pretty much. Yeah, it's on. So like you could look it up. It's on Twitter. It's on YouTube. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny because like if if it if you're not meant to be able, if you're not supposed to be able to kill him, then why can you grab him like you can grab other enemies? Like you can literally physically he's, interact he's with him. Yeah, he's still a character. See, but it, it's interesting because I would think that like you know with game design things that aren't meant to happen. I guess I figured like for stuff like that, you wouldn't be able. They would like put some type of measure in to where you can't interact with him like another, uh, like with another enemy or NPC. You know, um, somebody that I guess they, I guess they actually play tested the game. Somebody tweeted out that they, um, they was one of the play testers and they, they found a glitch like nine or ten times yeah. and they, they reported it and then they kept saying they fixed it, but I guess I guess they didn't. Yeah, I saw she yeah, she said she reported like nine or ten times to whoever and then they said they fixed it, but they never and they clearly never fixed it. It's a cool find though. I think that's pretty Bro, cool. Bro, that part of the game was wild. Bandy got a sure. Yes, sir. Peephole. Yeah. Manny man, man, got cat. Definitely got a hole put right through his eyeball. That was pretty cool. Um, what's going on with PlayStation and like them, you know, dotting, you know, just just making sure everything is like, you know, proper before they release it. They've been making a lot of quote unquote mistakes lately. Like there was this ad that released this week and they had the PlayStation upside down in the ad. Now I understand the people who direct these commercials aren't gamers but doesn't somebody at sony have to see the damn thing before it actually gets released i would imagine so so how does this get past like all the the checks and balances and 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 all the get get all the clearances that it should before it releases how does that happen bro like people keep putting their playstation fives upside down in their houses i'm like you're not realizing that you're putting the disc in upside down like you didn't notice that i I don't know it's it's very weird it's like it's been a whole nother campaign I've seen on Twitter. People are pushing the whole the PS5 is horribly designed. They they didn't bring that back up. The screw is confusing. The stand is confusing. Like I don't know if people are just mentally unstable or they got hit on the head. I don't know what the fuck going on. But um yeah, I don't know how you make that mistake. Um yeah. in the words of Omega, how much are they paying you to be a regular? Irregular. You mean you can't say that word anymore? It's crazy. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck signed off on that commercial. And they had it uploaded before people started noticing and they had to delete it. Like, bro, really? Like, Because, yeah, they had to take it down because then, you know, somebody could see that and think like, oh, yeah, I could, it's okay to put my PlayStation upside down. So they had to take it down. I don't think they re-uploaded it either yet. Yeah, nah, of, I haven't seen the updates yet. Did Herman Holtz have this PlayStation 5 upside down? I wouldn't I put it know. past him. In one of his pictures, he's not the he's not the brightest uh crayon in the box. I wouldn't put it past. Him. It's just it's just a lot of like human errors and mistakes going on at PlayStation. And I'm like I'm gonna need y'all to like actually care, act, and uh, you know that y'all care about what y'all are releasing and putting out. Y'all got even in y'all own trailers, you know y'all gotta put out blog posts and be like, oh that was a mistake. We were lying, you know that's that's not true at all. Like, this game is not coming to PC. I'm gonna need y'all to get it together. You hate to see it. Hate to see it worse than those damn Vin Diesel family memes. Yes, oh. sir. Yo, the best That's one I the best one I saw was nothing can defeat the power of family. And then it shows a picture of Chris Benoit. <laughs> oh wow. Hey, didn't BG upload one of the memes after saying they was lame? 
No, 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 no. What happened? You didn't was, put up a you didn't put up a Vin I Diesel not, family it, meme. It, it, it was not a Vin Diesel family meme. No, I was pointing out the um because Vin Diesel isn't saving Private Ryan, right? And oh. th- saving Private Ryan happened. You know, he was in that obviously before any of the Fast and the Furious movies started. Oh, okay. And what I was pointing out was it was funny that his character in Saving Private Ryan, and I hope I don't have to say spoilers for a movie that came out like over 20 years ago, but his character died by trying to save a little girl. And I was like, bruh, so this this has kind of been his character from like even before the Fast and the Furious series. I wasn't making a trying to make a family. Joke, uh, it seemed like you was trying just, to get a trying, no. it seemed like you trying to get some clout off. All no. Right, no. It's no. for just, retweets. Yeah, no, man, it seemed like you were trying no, to get a little no. what what you what you were trying to accomplish with that tweet, BG? No, cuz it was cor- no, cuz the whole Vin Diesel jokes is Yeah, corny. that tweet was the corny. Only, yeah, I agree. The only good one was uh I don't know if did y'all see the Castlevania one? No. Where they they like bro bro, he they they literally animated uh, like hit his the Vin Diesel sprite into the game, and and had him pull up on Dracula. That was the oh. only. I'm like, I'm like, I right, I just took this one too far. That one was was the only funny one. But no, I was. Pointing, did, that, did that tweet you do? Did that do numbers? I, I didn't keep up with. it. I wasn't trying to have it do numbers. I was simply pointing out. Nah, you know, that's like, not nah, man, man, Jack. Yo, yo, he was yo, trying to yo, do yo, numbers, Jack, bro. It's Jack, cool, man. Jack, 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 lick some underside nut, bro. Okay, how about that? What? Why would you ask another man to do what? that, BG? Uh, Come on, lick, bro. Lick, lick some underside of nuts, okay? Like you, I know BG, what you're doing. You, you're, you're you try, you trying to set BG. me up. You You're trying to set me up. Baby. You can't talk you to other men to, like that. That's, that's you trying to set me up, and I see, and I see what you doing. If I was, if I was, if I was in your princess, I had to give you a nugget for talking I, like that, bro. I, 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 I know what you're doing. So, and you know the middle, um, of your, you know the middle of your head is like soft because you like retarded. So, I, I, I could, I was I just, could actually uh, hurt you doing here, bro. I, I, I just found it interesting that you know right, Vin man. Diesel has all these family one-liners in Fast and the Furious, and his character in Private Ryan. Got capped because he was trying to save some little girl. So it was just an right, interesting. Okay. I didn't even know he was in that movie. To be honest, he was the first nigga to die. <laughs> that's why. Well, we, like once the you know once the squad went off on their own, he was the first nigga to die. That's why. BG you is a, a stone cold weirdo. Yeah. Okay, Jack. That's up. All right. Yeah, uh, let's get to the last topic, which is the Switch OLED. Fire. So, you know, for for months, we heard from ins, insiders, so well, self proclaimed insiders, alleged insiders, that you know, Nintendo was working on a new design, a new iteration of the Switch, which would uh, have an an OLED screen. They were right about that part, but they also said that it would be a more powerful Switch. That when in docked mode, when in you know docked in TV TV mode, there would be some uh, performance and visual uh, benefits and enhancements. Um, Nintendo revealed the uh, the Switch OLED, and I you know when when, it, when I first saw it, I got excited, but then I, I realized yeah, I'm like, why would they call it the Switch OLED model if there's more if there's more improvements than just an just an OLED? So I went I went into the blog post. You know, all still a little bit excited, thinking that, uh, you know, they're just going to mention in the blog post. No mention of visual or performance improvements for games at all in TV mode whatsoever. Because I'm somebody who likes to play, you know, I play my games in TV mode. I don't like to play on a small screen. And literally, this is Nintendo doing the bare minimum once again. But you know, Blandrew will buy it. It's 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 a Wait seven inch OLED screen to go up. It's it's a seven inch OLED screen. It comes with a LAN port, mind you. In the trailer, Nintendo highlighted that it has a LAN port, something that consoles 15, 15 plus years ago it was a, was a standard thing. Like the PS two, you had to buy, you know, the the whole uh, Dreamcast uh, had a, one. Yeah, PS2, you had to buy the adapter. The original Xbox, the original Xbox had one. Mm-hmm. And Nintendo is highlighting a LAN port in 2021. And, Wait, and the, the thing the is, Wii, 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 welcome to 1999. 
No, the no the Wii the, no, the, Wii, the Wii U did didn't not have, have one. one. You you could buy a um you could buy a, a third party peripheral connected pretty much. And and the thing is why it, it like why that land port is kind of like pointless in a way is because if everybody else is still playing on Wi-Fi, that affects your experience. <laughs> so like you'll have you could you could be on LAN on on a, on a Switch OLED or even you know a, a regular Switch because you can buy the peripheral, but Nintendo doesn't exactly you know encourage people to use you know LAN ports because they don't include them in their uh, you know their console. So most people are going to be on Wi-Fi. So that still screws with your what, experience, you think, even though you're playing on LAN. Do you think most people use a LAN cable to play uh, online no. or no? Not with Switch or what? Just in general, Xbox, PC, oh, absolutely, whatever. Absolutely, yeah. You I think, think most people, people play wired. You think most people absolutely. play wired than they do wired? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, that, it's, it's damn near like the only way to play, man. To play I wired. mean, I'll be honest with you. That's one of the reasons I, outside of Xbox Live being vastly superior, I hated playing fighting games on PS3 because for you to play wireless on the uh, 360, you have to go out and spend a hundred dollars on an adapter. For yep. you to do it on the uh, PS3, it came with it. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there are some, you know, some barbarians, you know, and, and savages out there that have their PS, their PlayStation, Xbox connected to the Wi-Fi. I think they should be jailed immediately. But I think they're the minority. I think they're the they're minority. No, I think I, it's. I don't see Wired being the the majority. I just don't see that happening. It, it may uh, not be the majority now because of technology, but if okay. you want the best experience, you got to play wide. You know how I know it's a majority? Let me hear Why it. Is that, who, 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 what PC gamers are playing on wireless? <laughs> yeah. Good point. Me? Even though I'm not a PC gamer, I don't have anything uh, hooked up to my, my router. Yeah, my my PC's wired. I, there's yeah. no way. To play I, I don't. I don't know it. anybody who has a console on Wi-Fi, yeah. especially when the most played games are like Madden, FIFA, and Warzone games where people do not want any freaking lag. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just do not. I'm willing to put like a thousand on that. That Wi-Fi is the the majority. Um, put some type poll. of poll put, there. Put up a poll, BG. Oh, we can no, no, not put on a poll on Twitter. Of course, well, well, these guys. Well, Andrew, your thing is going to be skewed because you could, you, you could start including mobile gamers and Switch users, obviously, and then Wi-Fi, obviously. Is I'm on. talking. I'm talking consoles. I'm oh, not even consoles, thinking. You of... really think? Nah, B. Nah, BG, I put up. I BG, put do. up a poll on your Twitter. Let's we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can get a gauge. I think right. most console gamers and, are wireless. And, and you know, yeah. and you know who who would know this? I mean, PlayStation and uh, Xbox have the stats. They could, you know, but they have no reason to release that necessarily. But they would definitely know. That'd be interesting. If Wait, Jack, are that. you wired or are you wireless? I was wired at one point, but now I'm wireless right now. You like what? I, said, I, I, think, I, think, I think people are wireless because of technology, but I, if you want the best experience, there's no way you, you can You got to realize, though. You got to realize this about gamers. A lot of gamers, they don't give a fuck about the best experience. They don't know nothing about nothing. I, they don't. I agree. That's what I'm saying. I that's think, what I'm saying. No, like, when okay, it comes to like saying, games, I disagree. That's why, bro. that's why I say more people probably using Wi-Fi because bro. of the, like, like casual people, they complain about the experience being playing online, but that most of them are playing that are complaining no, are on Wi Fi. They don't know nothing about that stuff. BG, bro. did, you put, use BG, did you put a poll on Twitter yet? I'm doing it now. Uh, people in the know, yeah, they might be more inclined to do it, but a lot of yeah. people don't know about that shit. Yeah, because like I said, I, I can see where more people be on Wi Fi, but there's no way I'm not playing games you know, Wi Fi. The it's, people that play no on Wi Fi probably don't have a choice. I don't know anybody who would choose to play on welfare. I mean, yo, remember when Dr. Trey tried to say that Wi-Fi is better than wired and Sakurai literally said, we recommend you to use a a wired Ethernet adapter for Smash Brothers. That doesn't mean that's how the majority play the game, though. Well, that's not what. And even, and even, that, and even wasn't, with... that wasn't what I was implying. Okay, wired being objectively better does not mean people are still going to go for wired. That wasn't. I don't the think point it's I was making. Um, dang, you got me calling you smooth because you're making dumb points. <laughs> so what is your point? I just said, remember when the doctor made a dumb point about Wi-Fi, and you went on saying that doesn't mean I'm like that's not what I was trying to say. Oh, uh, okay. I lost that first part. I didn't hear it. 
You're too busy trying to defend Nintendo. Actually, I'm watching this epic battle of Monster Hunter stories on the screen right now. Bro, we, <laughs> we need you to be paying attention to the damn podcast. Damn, the so, Monster Hunter stories is on the podcast channel, uh, Bond. So pretty much, like, for somebody like BG or who plays exclusively in Doc, there is no point of getting no. Yeah. And, and here's my And here's my bigger issue, right? For the people that say, oh, it'll be better, a better handheld experience, I don't play on my TV, then get the light. No, that's an affordable handheld experience. This is a premium handheld oh, experience. I, what makes this is premium? The OLED Nothing. screen. <laughs> and you get and you get better sound. Better sound by making the speakers bigger. Okay. And Yo, OLED I, I have the thing still doesn't even have um Bluetooth capability. I don't know. I didn't look into it that much. I just saw the trailer and was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna buy it. So the screen is like 0.8 inches bigger, right? Yeah, something like that. They, they got rid of the or whatever the they called it. Yeah. It, it's a minimal upgrade, bro. Like, literally it's bare minimal. Upgrade. And the people bare that minimal. got a chance to play it, the people that got a chance to play it, there's an article on Nintendo Life right now. They said um, that it's night and day difference between the LCD model, so it kind of made them a believer, but Nintendo won't let them do comparison shots right now. They say, I mean, the game still run at 15 to the frames. LCD. <laughs> so what? Yeah, they said yeah, going it, back it, to the it, LCD it model. So was... and, and here's the thing: less OLED makes a big difference, right? But it's it's still a, it's still 720p. It's like yeah, it's, it's still 720p. And the games still run at 15 frames a second. Yes. So so they okay. Y'all got the seven inch OLED screen now, a LAN port, and 64 gigs of internal memory. Um, yes. And and that's the only that's 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 it. That, that's it. Um, the, the, bigger the, kickstand. The, based on, oh, yeah. Based the on, bigger, the bigger kickstand. kickstand. Yeah, yes. based on Nintendo games, 64 gigs of extra memory is actually probably like the best thing about this thing. I bet. Yeah. And, I mean, and, that, that's that's pretty much the storage because I, I want to get one, but this did not incline me to get that particular one. I might as well just get whatever one that's already in the store. And the controller is the same. Some people were hoping for different controllers because, uh, you know, of the stick drift, I, I guess. Um, so they I wasn't hoping for. Like... I wasn't really hoping for different controllers. I was hoping they would get rid of that whole drift issue. The Joy Cons, yeah. I really have no problem with. This, this, my, this is completely redundant. That's my issue with this, right? If you're gonna do an upgrade, do an actual upgrade. This they is... did. They gave you an OLED screen. No, 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 Blaine. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because okay. You're you're going to see games running at 15 frames clearer. You could clearly see the frame drops better. You could see the frame drops better than you could see the frame drops before. That's what they're that's what they're allowing you to do. You could see you could see the low resolution better than you could see the the low resolution before. That's literally whole, what they're telling you. My whole thing is this has always more or less been in line with what Xbox, micro, excuse me, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo have usually always done in the past. This whole Mid-gen refresh is still new. I think this is, a so this, this is just in line with what Nintendo has always done, and that new 3DS actually hurt a lot of game sales. I think there, there's four. There, there's been four revisions to the Switch. I mean, if you want to call it a, the, oh, well, the the uh, one that I, came in the red box just had a better battery, I believe. Yeah, that's a revision. And, yeah, and I, then, I guess. Then you have the Switch Lite, and then you have this. Like, and, and, I mean, and the, there's they're averaging a new Switch each year. With no and, considerable difference, and that's why it's redundant. Because, like, well, listen, how, how do you have three or four revisions? And if you want to call this a hybrid, but how do you have no version of it that benefits dot mode? You know what I saw? I saw great a couple. Question. Of What's up? No, I'm just saying that's a great question. BG said oh, it was a great, great question. question. I thought you had a question. Um, yeah. I saw a couple of arguments against this not being a stronger switch, which I actually kind of agree with. Um, and I think it's common sense that because this is the fourth year of the switch, right? So, um, them making a stronger switch would kind of be counterproductive because they're probably going to be moving away from the switch within the next two years. So, like, yeah, I can see, I can see them just make you know the next the next switch is what we gonna get. Hopefully, get the stronger shit. Yeah, I, just, I think uh, I think the next switch is going to be backwards compatible, and naturally, all that other stuff will run better on the console. Yeah, the switch XL. Whatever they call it. I, I, I can see them doing that. Well, yeah, honestly, I can't see them doing that, but I mean, that would be the best bet for people that want them to do that. 
No, it, Nintendo it, usually makes sequels to their like successful stuff. You have the DS going to the 3DS, the Wii going to the Wii U, and I'm sure they'll do something for the Switch. So, is there a chance that we're going to get more of a traditional style console? Next no, generation? absolutely not. Absolutely not. So, so they're, they're going to stick with this handheld thing forever. Look, yeah. you have to understand, Nintendo so, is not like no, no, no. No, blame you. I no. You ain't got to explain because I do understand it. You clearly I, don't understand, so I had to explain it to you. Really, bro? Don't Nintendo. do that. Let's let's not do that. I mean, Nintendo. just saying. I, I understand. I'm just asking a question because, just like BG said, they're they're, they're saying it's a hybrid, but they're clearly catering to people who want handheld um gaming. That's true. I, I, that is I do true. understand. It's their, it's their it's their bread and butter. It's okay. been their bread and butter since the Game Boy. Handheld's been killing on Nintendo since '89. I'm not yes. that. I'm not that slow. Okay. But I'm just asking, would they? I mean, could they do that? Because of the fact that they would make a killing, in my opinion. I think they would if they would actually make one for pay, people that play on televisions or monitors. I don't. I don't see why not. Somebody. No, because everything their original model and the light is selling normally as it is. Like people keep saying they need to do a price drop and all this other stuff, but. From their perspective, there is no point. This thing is still dominating in Japan. It's doing its thing in Europe. It's winning MPD every month, even with these new consoles out. So you kind of just, true. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, as much as it would be nice for us, looking from their side, there's no real reason to do any of this if people are voting with their wallets and saying, hey, I would pay so for that. Somebody, Right, right. Somebody. And I understand that. No, I do. Yeah. It's just that I'm, I'm just not a handheld gamer. That's the way I'm like... So, the fuck i i want to play on a television or a monitor yeah, so, so you know the dock thing is I cool think, but i think still. there was a survey that said majority of people that play on the switch of do course. play in handheld mode of course of course yeah. they're, they're yeah. nintendo g gamers so they don't mind playing on the handheld but like somebody right. put it to me somebody put it to me very accurately like the switch isn't a hybrid it's a handheld that just has the capability of of, of being played on a tv it's really what it is. It's it's a function. No. It's it's a capability. It's not a hybrid. It's not. How is it not how is it not a hybrid? It it has the capability of being played on the TV because it doesn't support no. it doesn't really it, it doesn't give you give you no like benefits from being played on a TV. They don't even support I mean, it. Games do have higher resolutions and some games do run better as far as frame rates. Man, listen. Hardly. Yeah, I, I'm with you, BG. It, 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 it's it, a handheld that just happens to play on a television. It's it, a hybrid. It'd be, it, it be, it be okay. Games that are 540p docked, they're 720p. Come on, man. Yeah, or 720p like Mario Kart going to 1080p on a TV. Oh, man, come on. That, that, this ain't it. I, I hate yeah. Nintendo. I'm, I know you Landry, do, BG. I, I, I'm sailing the high seas. I'm sailing. We're, 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 we're not entertaining that. Uh, no, no, we are. I, no, I invited. Not. Listen, Blandrew, Blandrew. I, I casted my sail. I got the parrot on my shoulder. I got the ring in my ear. Okay, I got the eye patch and everything. You want me to call up the Nintendo demons right now? <laughs> hey, call them, bro. Call them. <laughs> they can they can come after my ship. I'm sorry because I refuse to play Breath of the Wild with frame rate drops and with with jaggies and you know the, 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 this this poor. Just, just this poor uh, de depth of field and nah, bro. I can't do it. I can't do it. Well, Boy, I'm happy you know, to see. I can't do it. Man. To be, I, I will say, I I didn't put too much stock into the uh, the rumors. These are the same people that told me, you know, I was getting a new Ape Escape game. These are the same people that told me I was getting a Star Fox racing game and all other types of stuff throughout this generation. So I didn't put too much stock into that. But that being said, I was hoping that there would be something. For the TV players, like even just better frame rates, I was hoping for that. But for what it is right now, I'm cool with it. And that, that I, I seen some, I've been checking out them Simu emulators. Ooh, them boys playing Breath of the Wild at 4K 60. Ooh. <laughs> Thing looking at heat. I, I'm, I'm end up getting one, man. It's just that. that A lot uh, of great uh, games on there, man. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, it is. I know. I know. I mean, uh, I'm just used to playing on on a television or a monitor. I just I just can't. I got a PSP. I've been wanting a Vita, and I just can't do the handheld thing. I never was a fan of it. So uh, I guess I guess. So right now the poll. This is closer than I thought, which is insane. Um, Not really. I told you <laughs> it's mainly Wi-Fi players, but that's, that's so my fact. The poll is uh, right now. It's only 200 votes. Um, and 41% said they play on Wi-Fi, and 59% said they play on play wired. 
Um, obviously, that's more wired, but that's still too close. No one, y'all, y'all are literally ruining the the ex- online experience for the rest of us playing on Wi Fi. And the people that follow you are probably like hardcore, the most hardcore of hardcore gamers. The casual is not doing that. Trust me. It's convenience, man. I'm telling you, it is all it is. Some people have their internet set up and they can't wire their Listen. um internet because their modem is somewhere else. Time is center. Uh, yeah, you know. I can understand it, I guess, if you have no option, but bro, if I have to, I will wire that I will wire up up the wall, back down the wall, around the corner. I don't care how far it is or what, what I gotta do, bro. I, I'm getting yeah, wired. My setup, yeah, yeah, my setup, I got my modem right here, and it, it's no way I, nah. I can't. I can't do it. Yeah. Y'all are weird with y'all arguments, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, no, I'm, I know this no, is no, what not, I'm saying. Not, no. not, not, not you. I'm saying people that will say most people got their shit wired, but then y'all will say most people won't convert to PC gaming if all the games come to PC. Which one is it? Because if you're if you're if you're so informed to wire your shit up the wall like a like you know all this intricate bullshit, you're you're informed enough to switch over your game and uh situation if all the games come to PC. I think so, I think both have to be true. That's okay. a that's another thing I was thinking about this whole performance thing. Like the the vast majority of people do not care. That's why these games are selling like crazy on the Switch. Would it be nice? Sure, but it's not the end all be all. This thing's still gonna sell like crazy. Yes, be yeah. That was like, the thing about the Switch is it's not just because of the games or or in, the name itself. I mean, Nintendo's been doing this handheld. That, like they had the handheld game on locks for almost four decades. So I mean, once the better the quality of the games that comes out on the handheld uh, platform, these Nintendo guys and people who are you know that just want to play casually, they're going to pick. They're going to eat that up. I mean, that's just. I mean, that's just fact. I mean, I'm not knocking it. It's just that that's just not my kind of gaming. There's like, like I said, I have my PSP ever since it was out, and I I I just don't play it. I just cannot play games like. Yeah, like that's that's I'm, fair. That's fair. I'm I mean? not. Yeah, I'm not. It's, it's it, not it. a knock on the Switch at all. It's like, yo, this. I, I really wanted, you know, something that's more traditional. I'm just it, saying, I cool. don't know why people are more shocked that Nintendo would cater more towards the handheld market than anything they, with this that, Switch. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying, Blanche. It was like they got to know the history. I mean, what the Game Boy came out in what eighty nine ninety, and sure. then from there the Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. You know, I mean, they've been doing handhelds probably eighty percent of these good dudes been born. Yeah, and, and even it, with it, this. It, it, even said? with as popular as the Wii was doing 100 million, the DS managed to do over 155 million. So exactly. So it's like it's not a surprise. It's just like shit. I want something like the GameCube again. Shit. I want a traditional console. I know I'm left behind, but it's yeah. just that you know it, it is what it is. You know. See, that's exactly what I was telling people before the Switch came out. I was like, this thing is going to be extremely successful because it's not a traditional console. If they were to go traditional route. I fully believe they would have a handheld and then you would have stuff split again. It's basically reverse PlayStation. PlayStation yeah, dominates yeah, in the console, yeah. but so, yeah. I totally agree. So, so Jack, you mean to tell me when we be playing all these online games, you on Wi-Fi, dog? Yeah, when I be getting them, them great scores, yeah. That's why you be trash. That's exactly why you be trash. Me, PJ, if you were, if you were wine, is that why um, when you put up a poll who was a better Last of Us player, I was this winning. Is, and this the is poll. exactly why you be. Is getting, that, is listen, that why when we, when listen, we play the game together, I be having a high score? Listen, high score to you. listen, every listen, everybody that voted in that poll could jump off a bridge and go double dutch in traffic. Okay, so I don't care about. So everybody don't care about what you should commit. Should commit I don't to care a about oh, what wow. none of them niggas said. Bond, okay? Mo- Bond, Mocha, Blanche, they all them agree. niggas is wrong. So the whole Okay. Kill they okay. wrong. They wrong. Okay, hey, Jack. You, Jack. What's notice BG doesn't have any connect. Didn't have any connectivity issues with you until you told him this whole that you play on. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. It explains. It explains <laughs> a lot now. The delay was pretty right, bad. Right, right, it, it explains a lot now. It because you know so, sometimes Jack. You know Jack. I'd be like Jack. You ain't see that nigga. He just walk right in front of you. You know, and and Jack can't even keep up and shoot. He be shooting behind niggas, missing mad shots. Right, that slow right. ass. See that Wi Fi. That Wi Fi. You know. Keep that narrative uh-huh. going, uh, BG. See, Good that, job. that's that's the problem. You want Wi Fi. That that's Jack, why Jack. Scores you, BJ, what, that's what, why what, Jack what? Jack's aim be off. He be lagging. Oh, why, why, that, my, why oh, my score is usually better than yours? Jack, man. Jack you've work. never been better why, than me in no. Why game. do I have a higher KD with like two times the play time? Jack, I didn't Jack, work. Jack, Jack, you're, hey, you're never, hey, you've never been better than me. Hey, Blandrew, what's, what's up? If I play a game double the amount, maybe even quadruple the amount of time you played it, and I still have have a higher KD, how does that work? 
We don't. Should I have a, I have a lower KD? You're probably the best more. player. Jack. You're probably the better player. Jack. I think should that's I have a lower that. KD Jack. because I, I play. I play more. Jack. Way more. Okay. Jack, if if we had if we had a a, a draft, if we had a gaming draft, they're not picking you before they pick me. Facts. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Facts. I have a, I have a, I have a higher KD. In BG. They're picking me first. That's cool. The people the people know what's up. The last the last time we had a draft in the Discord, my team uh whooped you, your team's ass and I went eleven and oh. I remember you, that. And you went negative. You, I remember that. You have a That's higher fine. KD than me in games because you hide behind, you know, you hide and cover and Interesting. shiver and uh, shiver and shake. Ooh, I don't want to go out there on the front lines. Uh -huh. Ooh, I'm okay. scared. You know, while BG out there taking heads off. Putting dudes well, down you in getting, the dirt. Well, you getting your head took yeah. off. Playing like a fucking yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I need yeah. you to revive me because that's all you good for. Yeah, pick okay, me up, right. sir. Pick me up after I did all all the work. After right, I was on the right. front line taking niggas' domes uh, off. Baby. I'm sorry, I'm a good team player, BG. I know that's frowned upon. You, know? you, you sir, you're a medic. Yeah, okay, if BG, if BG you're was a on a medic. basketball team, you you would try to run the fade with the point guard. Why the fuck you passing everybody the ball? Getting them you shots. You a from? medic, Jack? Shoot the ball, you, your goddamn self. You're a medic. Okay. You're See, a I'm the, loser. I, you're I'm, a the loser. I'm the Marine. I'm, I'm the, the Marine, medic, the Marine on loser. the front line. I'm the Marine hey, on the front BG. line shooting but dudes BG. heads off. And you the but medic BG, just running up. and patching everybody would, up and getting and getting I, points for it. I wouldn't have to be the medic if you wouldn't get your shit rocked. You know what I mean? Hey, oh Rose, yeah, you hey, didn't notice hey, that Rose, though, right? If you stop getting your shit rocked, I wouldn't have to patch nothing. Some, I wouldn't have to somebody got to be okay. doing the shooting. Somebody, somebody got to be doing the shooting because you, you hiding suck. and cowering. You cowering behind cover. Somebody got to shoot. Oh man, Jack, Jack moves saving the day over Wi-Fi. Yes, oh, sir. Man. Hey, that boy yeah. looking out there looking good. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. the, the people know the truth. They know what's up. I be looking at these these Jack live streams. I'm like, yo, why does this game look so buttery? He must be playing over Wi-Fi. There's no way he can be playing on. <laughs> and I got some of the best streams in the community. You off definitely do. Wi off Wi-Fi. Hey, hey, man. That's crazy. BG hey. got fiber. And he can't even stream right now. What's wrong with yeah. him? Yeah, I don't got fiber. I don't got fiber. I'm surprised we didn't out yet. I don't got fiber yet. You Listen, need to get some fiber in your diet because you're full of shit right now, BG. Okay. Oh, that was cute. That was cute. Okay. That's all I got to say. Did, Go did, eat some did, Metamucil, did, motherfucker. Did, did, did Tony, Metamucil, did Tony motherfucker. feed you that bar? You got that bar from Tony? He feeding you lines? Tony fed you that one? BG, that was it, BG. Come on. Tony, you go, Tony it. doing your ghost writing? You got to get it. You got to get it to me, dog. Bye. I'll give it a six. I'll give it a six out of ten. Thank you. You know. At least it wasn't a Steph Curry bar. Ah. Oh, brother. Anyway, um, I'm better at, at Jack. The people know. The community ah! knows. You, you want a shooter? You, you, you want, you you're want, a, you want a shooter? BG, you know who BG, you know. You're the, you're the, you're the you know hype you beast pick. You're the hype beast pick. Mm -hmm. I'm the, I'm the, I'm okay. the really young. Man. Okay. Hey, Amen. Yeah, hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Fire. Yeah. You know, you know when niggas be saying, "Yo, I keep them shooters with me." They be talking about me, dog. You, you oh, wouldn't yeah, be nowhere man. without me, PG. You'd be somewhere dead okay. right now without me. Facts. Okay. Yeah, boy. All right. All right. And he's, only time niggas bring Jack around, but like, yo, Jack, pass me a yeah. med kit. Pass me yeah, a med kit, yeah, Jack. That's all. That's all. Whatever makes you, you, make you feel better, man. Whatever makes you feel you, better. That's all you good for, man. Get it out, baby. Get it out. Yeah. yeah nigga, you done? You know your, you know your place. A med. You done? Put a you big done? red cross, a big red cross patch over your face. You that's all you. That's what we need you for. You done? Okay. Patch me up, sir. You done? Okay. I'm done. You want to read these super Thanks. chats? I do actually want to read the super chats. Uh, let's see, I got them pulled up right here. We have game inspection. He says one time was wrong about a lot. Also, Jason Schreier leaked Starfield, not him. Oh shit. Um, we got gaming at it. He said put Blandrew on WWP full time. Pay the man, BG. Uh oh, thank you, Lord Addict. I appreciate that. I, I mean, I listen. I'm okay with Blandrew being paid, but you know, it's a discussion amongst the uh, the the entire. You know, I can't uh, isometrically. I don't think that's the right word. I'm thinking of the wrong word. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't make that decision alone. So we are discussing it amongst everybody, all the other members. What's the word I'm looking for when you make decisions by yourself? It's not isometrically. Negatively? No, it's another word. Anyway. You made a decision by yourself. You contemplate. Yeah, talk like one of these game reviewers. Just talk like a normal person. Yeah, you can't do it on your own, man. <laughs> like a normal. I couldn't think of the word. I know the word I used it before. Yeah, 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 I couldn't yeah, think of it. Yeah, 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 yeah,
nigga said asymmetric. Asymmetrically. <laughs> Hey, you a real dummy, BG. You know, isn't, I mean, that, isn't, that, isn't that like an angle in a in a video? Yeah, I'm, yes, I'm, think, yes, I'm thinking of shooters, but I'm, I was thinking of shooters, but there's you a need different to word. Shoot yourself, motherf- okay, let me. Unilaterally, <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, shout out to <laughs> shout out to Euro Cero. Unilaterally, up, that's the one I was up, looking bro. for. Up, I was bro. looking for that word. Yeah, I, I can't why, why? be just. I okay, can't, listen, listen, why, shut up, Jack. Why you Jack, just, Jack why you, I'm smarter why you than you. I'm say, smarter than you. Shut no, up. No, no. I, I, the, what I was going to say is I can't just unilaterally just be making decisions, you know, like that. So, you know, we discussing it, discussing it among the members. Unilaterally. I got a question now, BG. Why, why you couldn't just say I can't make that decision on my own? How hard no. would that have been? Listen, Jack, you, you just mad because I know more. You know words, and I, I'm way I more to, sophisticated than you. Your, I need you to unilaterally <laughs> shut your ass up, I, I, I'm that? way more sophisticated and, and well versed in vocabulary than you. Can you do that for me? Way what? more well versed in vocabulary you, than you, sir. You. I've I've been around these uh, vocabulary you, streets. Okay. Thank you, bro. Um, Talking like could, he plays Kojima games or something. <laughs> Go keep reading, sir. <laughs> are y'all, are y'all, all right. So we got Moody Blues. He says, "Hey WWP, hope you're all doing well. Just wondering if Jeremy Gamer two three two three will ever be back on the podcast. Also, maybe other guests like Robin Gaming, MBG, if possible." Uh, MBG. MBG, no, never. Um, Robin Gaming um, scared him away. What's on, what's on MBG? That that dude's a fraud. Like he's a weirdo. How you no. know? How you know? You like him, nigga? Is that your man? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't personally know him, but I never talked to him. He's he's a more successful crap gamer. That's all he really is. Man, BG like crap gamer. So what's the issue? Who? Who <laughs> like crap gamer? <laughs> Even on the podcast, <laughs> dickhead. What does that mean? I had a lot of niggas on the podcast. Oh, why you have him? Why you have him, BG? You scared of him? That nigga, he's a weirdo, dog, and he's a fraud. I don't know. What do you do? What do you do that was so weird? Jack, you know what this nigga's a so fraud. Weird? You know he's a fraud, I don't know this bro. man. What do you do that was so weird? I don't watch I, it. I, you hit him up. You hit him up and invite him on here. Are Crap you going to run? Because it's like you're scared of him. Scared of this nigga. nigga. Slap Crap that Gamer was out, here, was out here telling black people to get the collard greens out their ear and pay attention. You still invite oh. that man on here. He said it just scared him. He just had him on the screen. Yeah, I think exactly. Blandrew just made that up. That's not the kind of racist I'm coming from you, Blandrew. Dead serious. Crap Gamer said I, I, that. I don't remember him saying that, but if he did, hey, man, fuck that nigga. On the podcast. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, that, that dude blocked me, and I, I ain't never talked to that guy damn in my life. Who, Crap Gamer? Fuck, yeah, a fucking clown. I don't even know this, that dude. This was uh, Xbox One era Crap Gamer when he said that, though. Sheesh. Listen, MBG is a weird because he be talking about he he be talking about bro. He just be saying stuff and don't know what he be talking about. He be he should have act- half the fucking Xbox community what? blocked if that was the case. Nah, see, but the Xbox dudes I I follow are you know dudes that are very sound minded people. Oh, are they making the Wonder Years for black people? Is that what I just? Nah, saw? chill, man. <laughs> is that what I just saw? What the fuck? I'm about to watch that. A- M- MBG like this moron. He be saying stuff. Like he'd be like, oh man, uh, you know, God of God of War three in a year, and he'll be like, and then he'll be like, oh, I I wasn't actually saying it's coming out in the year. I would just say I, I would like to play it, you know, in a year. Some dumb shit like that. He pass off his thoughts of of like what he wants as like facts, and then like you know, treads back and be like, oh, I don't actually know this. I'm like, he's dumb, bro. He's an idiot. He's an idiot. He's an idiot, man. If you a fa- Jack, if you a fan of him, if you want, if you want to rub his, I balls, do say not that, know BG. I thought you knew English. BG. I don't. I don't watch it. I don't know that person. Hey, what's wrong with you, bro? Now I will invite him on because it seems like he got you shaking in your boots. I, I wouldn't mind seeing yeah, that. Okay. Put your, one put of your tweets, tweets in the, your place. Yeah. I put one of the tweets in the chat if you don't believe me. Let me see this. Uh, right. you want me to read the rest of these uh super chats? Yeah, go ahead. We got Tarek Ahmed. He said, Ubisoft fucked up the main story back starting with Black Flag and killing off the big bad in a comic. The story reflects the gameplay and gameplay is all over the place like the story. We got Jack Sutcliffe. He says, Bond returning a weapon wheel means peace and quiet is gone on Sunday Eve. It's a shame. Uh, we got Game Inspect. He said, Metagir as a series sold 56 million in total. Sheesh. Our last was only like 20 million behind it. All right, we'll catch up with that third game. Uh, let's see here. We got Geekhead188. Nintendo fans are that one girl that keeps coming back to their boyfriend that keeps beating them. Talking about, I see something in him. Like, the fuck you see in a rematch? 
crying emojis. We got Jack Sutcliffe. He says, the Tekken developers even came out and said 60% of console players who play Tekken use Wi-Fi. I agree with Blandrew. Put PC, uh, but PC definitely uses Ethernet over Wi-Fi. I agree. We got Jazzy Jefferson. He said Harada of Bandai Namco said the majority of console players for Tekken 7 Soul Calibur 6 and Dragon Ball Fighter Z was Wi-Fi. So they backing up what Blandrew was saying. Mm-hmm. Um, we got S. Blanks in 95. He said, Blandrew, don't your boy the pseudo-intellectual Shadow Fox think that Wi-Fi better than Wired? Oh, God. I don't know, but I know he walks with a blade on him. That's all I know. Yo, <laughs> Whoa, I'm sorry to tell you this, but blades don't do nothing in quick encounters. Yes, sir. Speak on it. And um, I do got a I'm question. Here. Um, <clears throat> BG heard addicts. Uh, you, I mean, your incredible use of isometrical vocabulary and everything, <sighs> all that ridiculousness. That's uh, what do I have an unemployment package? Uh, no, 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 there's no separate package. So you pay people that work, correct? I do. That's all I needed to say, Attic. What was y'all paying Jimmy for then? Respectfully. <laughs> no. Yo! Wow. Yo! You said you first of all, first of all, Jesus, that's crazy. Okay, this man, Blandrew. First of all. Y- First of all, see, Blandrew is a scumbag. Oh, no, on. no, Bl- Blandrew thinks he could just throw respectfully after something, and that just makes it okay. <laughs> like this is all he does. He he literally insults people all the all day, and be like respectfully though. And like, no, Blandrew, you can't do that. It work like that, Blandrew. Blandrew, you have only made four videos in the past two years. Yeah, yeah, really? What the fuck? I need some effort and consistency from you, Doug. Smooth is in the trenches with the whole Xbox community and everything. Got his own Xbox podcast. You know, he invites some people there, invites us there, invites them here, and vice Smooth, versa. Smooth does a lot more work outside of the podcast. So these days, he's a lot more quiet than he used to be in the past. I'm just saying, we need you to be the kid Smooth of Nintendo. Is that, a, is that supposed to be a good thing? or I'm talking about your effort and participation. <laughs> My, my participation here is great. It's just the outside as far as my channel. And, and again, Nintendo fans just don't like you guys. I don't know how many times I have to keep telling you. Uh, yeah. Xbox we don't, dudes we don't, don't like them either. Blender, it's like your them. job to change that. <laughs> Thank you, Smooth. Thank you. That's what I've been saying. Yo, you think Xbox guys like me, uh, Blandrew? No. But Smooth still gets them on here. And Smooth still gets me on there. Shout out to uh, Jimmy. You know, he catching strays for no reason. Where where, where is that energy when Jimmy was here, huh? Huh, Blandrew? Where was that energy? We just got to keep it objective around here. That's that's all I can ever do is keep it objective. Uh Uh-huh. No, what you're trying to say is because one person is getting free money, you should get free money. If I'm putting in more work, absolutely, yes. Shout out to Uncle Jimmy, man. Shout out to to Jimmy, respectfully. Respectfully. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start doing that, dog. Every time I just disrespect somebody, (laughs) respectfully. (laughs) I'm going to do that on Twitter. Uh, you know when I be cursing people out, calling them, you know, all types of crazy shit? Respectfully. Respectfully. You know, your mother, your, you know, I, I smashed your mother last night, you know, I nutted on her face. Respectfully. Jesus. That's what I'm going to be doing mm-hmm. on Twitter. You want me to read the rest of these? Uh, okay, here yeah, we go. go. We got Roy. He says, y'all remember when BG said the Switch will flop? Yes, I do. He was incredible. Oh, I said flop too. Well, it's a bad console, so I was technically right. It's still a bad console. I remember BG blocking me on Twitter over that. It was crazy. I, that's that's not what I why I blocked you. It was something else. I don't remember what it was though, but I know it wasn't that. We got a uh, Geekhead one eighty eight. He says, "Y'all see Yellow Chair Africa saying people shouldn't buy the new Switch, but contradict himself at the same time." Wait, who is Africa. Yellow Chair Africa? He says, "Yellow will uh, Yellow, oh, yellow oh, Chair." Africa. Oh, uh, Player Essence. <laughs> no, Paris, Paris, not Player Essence. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. It's easy to get them too confused. No, it's not. One's bald think, and the other isn't. You think all black people look like BG? That's no, Jack. Don't see Jack. He's he trying to set me he, up. He <laughs> specifically, he, speci- he specifically said yellow chair, so that could only be like Paris or somebody else. All right, man. We got Brian Lobo. He says, "Sorry, but BG won't get picked first in a game and draft." 
Who was able to break a game and laptop in half and who wasn't able to break a PS3 disc in half? Speak on it, Brian Lobo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got shot red 555. He said, BG, respect the medic. They're good at... Excuse me? Doming you up? Excuse What the fuck? Hey, yo, Whoa. shot red. <laughs> you a whole weirdo. Uh, Jigga April donated and said, add Jigga April to the Patreon. That might be a good idea. What y'all think? Nope. No. Right. Uh, let's see. Let me refresh this one more time. I think that's it, though. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um... That's all that happened this week. It wasn't like, uh, you know, super yeah, crazy. Yeah, it wasn't super crazy this week. So that's about it. Hey, uh, y'all go ahead and uh, hit that like button if y'all ain't done that yet. We're going to get to these outros. All right. I'll go first because um, I'm trying to get out of here. Watch this NBA game. Uh, good week. Good summer. Thank you all for coming out. Hit that like button. And as always, come see us again every week. Landrew. There is a 90% chance that the Badland Wonder World retrospective goes out this week. Subscribe Yo, to the channel. Nobody cares about that game. That developer went bankrupt on that This shit. video is about to blow up. Bro, Be on the channel. Like a month, yo. What that is that? Developer literally went bankrupt because of that game. Okay. This is gonna do wonders. For, this is gonna do wonders for my channel. It will be nice if you guys all tuned into it. Y'all making fun of Smooth for um, playing bad games, and you play Trashland Wonderland. I, I look forward to the video. I look forward to it. Blender, but, would you but, say this video is gonna make your channel a uh, Wonder World? Get it? Yes. But Bond, uh, reviewing bad games is actually a pretty big market on YouTube. The, how do you think Whoa. Angry Joe got his whole thing going? Angry Joe doesn't. No, that's Angry Video Game Nerd. No, Angry Joe. He reviews good games. Well, he most well he used to like back in the day review a lot of old stuff. No, I mean excuse me, trash stuff. No, that was angry video game nerd. But, but hold on, Blandrew, like you you you've been spending like a month editing this video. How long is it? No, exactly. Yeah, it's at, it's at least over thirty minutes at this point. Oh, uh, I guess he's, I can let been, it slide. He's been saying for the past two months that he's gonna be making videos regularly, and again, four videos in two years. I, this will I be the let... last. This will be the last big project. Everything else will be smaller stuff, like five to ten minutes. Yeah, I can, I can let Blandrew slide because, you know, he actually, you know, puts uh, some effort into his video, you know, versus like somebody like me. I'm very much Nintendo when yeah. it comes to my video editing. Like, I don't do any editing and I do the bare minimum, just like Nintendo. I got to I got to look through 60 hours worth, uh, worth of recording to find one little section to throw into that spot. So these things take time. You ain't brush no teeth, I can tell. To me? <laughs> no, BG. Oh, uh, okay. Dude. Why, why, why are you worried about my mouth, you weirdo? What are you talking about? Your breath looks stank. No, you what was like, I'm not. You're you're talking like, I'm not about, out you you hear, hear this guy? Me. You no, hear no, this no. guy the worried about video. my mouth? You're a man Sony, worried about the contents the of another man's mouth. The Sony videos, you man, like, oh, guys, happy drinking coffee. The Nintendo video. Yes, I'm not going to even roll out of bed for this one. Breath all stank. It's like a stretched out V-neck talking about Nintendo. Man's worried. Man, thinking about <laughs> what my dirty. mouth is like. No, nah, man, you stink, bro. He thinking take about what my mouth is like. Hey, yo, Jack, I'm gonna need take, you to stay far take, away from me, bro. Take pride in your videos, BG. Yeah, you, you, remember, remember those Brooklyn skill tree thing. videos? He used to have a tie on. He used to have some type of yeah, button down T-shirt. I, I was coming from work. A glasses on all the type Damn, of stuff. Nigga, you ain't working no more. What's going on? He used to make his nigga, bed before I, the I work from home. What are you? Yeah, I work from home. I gotta put. Work nigga, you know, parents, you, all right, bro. All right, nigga, I, I, nigga, I done threw, nigga, I done threw a bunch of my work clothes away. I'm, 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 rem I'm remote permanently now. I ain't never gonna wear them joints again. I'm free. I, I am said, free. This man used to have a messy bed every time it was an Xbox or a Nintendo video, but then made his bed when it was time to talk yeah, about yeah, PlayStation. Yeah. Hold on, I put the wait, PlayStation first, on bed, kissed it, just ironing his cover. You know, first yeah, of all, first, of, okay. you do too much, bro. Okay, first of all, I will not be insulted by one, a nigga that's afraid to actually put a picture of himself up on Twitter as a profile pic. That's you, Blandrew. Okay, you afraid to do that. That's number you scared, scared. nigga. You said you scared. You said you scared. That's all it is. We're, oh, it's the camera. I can, I can kind of understand why he don't It's want the camera. First, himself. you you afraid to do that. And I, so I'm not not going to take no slander from you. And I'm, just gonna, I'm definitely not taking no slander from a nigga that's <laughs> that's <laughs> overweight. Okay? Okay? Excuse me? Excuse me? Yeah, you. You like big people. 
Oh, see, <laughs> there you go being sus again. There, there you, you go know, being sus that? again. There you, you go do. being sus. Ain't nothing oh, wrong with that. Jack, like just it. don't just don't worry about my. I, I need you to stop thinking about my mouth. That's that's what I want you to stop. Oh doing. no, no worries. So PG, you didn't deny brushing your not brushing your teeth though. That was the... exactly, exactly. That's my oh, whole oh, point. Oh. My thank you, Blander. My whole. I I, I, br I I brush my teeth rather thoroughly every morning. I I, I, I was just I I, I I was I, I use Crest. How about that? Is is that okay? Is that okay? No, you, you, use, you gotta use Colgate. Nah, Col Col Colgate is 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 overrated. Crest, three D Crest. Yeah, yeah. Get up on that. I think I got some cold gate right now. Yeah, cause cause you you a front runner. You just go with like whatever is is the popular oh, no, I'm brand. I'm not just nigga. going with a tooth uh, toothpaste brand because they're popular. BG, you sound yeah, crazy. That's right? exactly what you're doing. Cold gate, like that's that's the typical. I like I like Sensodyne. <laughs> I like Sensodyne. Those are pretty. That's pretty yeah, good. The toothpaste Sensodyne. fanboys now. Sensa Sensodyne. What are you? Sixty five, nigga. What are you talking about? Sensodyne. You should be using it because you're sensitive. Get it? Oh. Anyway, um. Did you floss or no? And, and see, there go more niggas. More niggas worried about my mouth. I I well, answer no more no, questions. Cause I, I just had some expensive dental work and I'm worried about people's gum health, BG. Do you floss? No, no, no. no Gingivitis. No. I'm, not, I'm not worried. I'm not answering no more questions about my mouth. You might no get man. periodontist or whatever the fuck that shit called. You need, the, you need the floss, man. See, I ain't worried about no. You, get a, no. you get a water floss. Or I can link you with a water floss. No, you no, want a water no, floss? No. I, I actually have uh, one, of the, one of those. I have a water pick. So, you know. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Well, that's water floss. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't use actual, you on, know. On, a, on average, how often you use that? On average. Barbaric actual floss no we we have technology we, we have technology never, now blandrew I, I never heard of this thing like, like put me on you can get a water floss or smoothie it works it's it's a thing. it's it's a high pressure water so you use it on in in between your teeth instead of floss you know floss is is, Wait, is really? barbaric and archaic yeah, water, for uh, water floss the, in this lid. Uh, yeah, you know that's yeah floss you know actual whatever that material is regular flossing that's for peasants so blandrew's still on that we, we i'm yeah. beyond that okay <laughs> I'm, not, I'm still on that green minty floss though but i'm still on it barbaric i'm about, I'm about to link y'all with a water pick yeah, yeah, yeah put that in the chat i want to check it out yeah man i'm, I'm about to link y'all good no more no more questions about my mouth from you men all you did was ask if you brush I your just, teeth and then you went I on this i just wanted to do my outro and you in here talking about your mouth can we <laughs> do your do, do outro, outro dog. Do your outro, dog. Um, appreciate y'all for watching YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, PSN, Jack Move, Johnny, JiggyMerch.com. Get it tuned. Uh, BG Suck Dick on the low. Uh, appreciate y'all for watching. We out. I'm not gonna be baited. Um, uh, <laughs> baller. Man, y'all, y'all hell, man. Hey, man, appreciate the the the, the show, man. This has been fun. Uh, Y'all can find me, uh, just type in VFCast, that's one of my channels. My other channel is First in Frame Rates. Uh, one channel I talk about gaming, the other one I talk about uh, football, so uh, pretty much do a little bit of everything on both channels. Uh, that's pretty much it, man. Oh, also, I'm going to be doing more one-on-one -on -one interviews. Did the one with Jack Move Johnny. Y'all need to go check that out. That Why would you interview good, this uh, weirdo? Yes, sir. We had a good conversation, hey, tell him, man. Tell him it was a good conversation, man. Yes, it was a good sir. one. Y'all go check that out. Wait, VFK. How, uh, how many subs you got? Hey, man, I'm low as fuck, bro. I'm trying to. I'm trying to grind, man. I got 41, man. Help me out, man. No, you think my, review, second, Jack Move is gonna get you some subs? <laughs> no, I don't. I, <laughs> you I, talk I, about I, it. I, I, that I, nigga I, got I, no clout. No, no clout, Johnny. I'm okay, being respectful. Okay, I just want to know, okay, did you right, review in? Uh, kiss kiss okay, that Patreon okay. cup goodbye, nigga. You, no, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> no. This, this, let, let's, let's do this like this. No, I didn't expect that. I know Jack, me and Jack, cool, so I wanted to talk to him about the history of gaming. Ain't nothing about subs. Yeah, if that, that happens, it happens. If it okay. happens, but my main thing is, is all about the con is all about the content, not about the numbers. So you go as check long it out. as you're not going in there saying, "Yo, I'm talking to Jack Move. My channel about to pop right now. I'm cool." Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you you from Balan Underworld, my nigga. I need you to fall back, okay? I'm yeah, saying I was on this. I, I was on this show back in episode seventy three. It's not about the subs. It's about talking about games, man. Like I said, um. And like I said, my other my other channel, I, I basically just talk about the NFL and football. So it, it, it's nothing. It's nothing like that. So okay. check it out. I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah, I'm sure niggas is running in droves to hear about some <laughs> some Jack Move interview. <laughs> niggas just ran yeah, to their they ran okay. to their computers. Y'all hey, okay. conversation, okay. man. Y'all tripping, man. It was a good convo, bro. <laughs> niggas, niggas put that on watch later and never gonna watch later. <laughs> what is this doing in my watch later?
Don't I get a, don't I get more views than both? Never mind. All right. Uh, who got an intro? Who got an outro? I think uh, Smooth got one. Just Smooth dude. get outro. That nigga ain't yeah. talked this whole week, man. Oh no, Smooth get an outro this week, bro. Yeah, I did. What are you talking about? Yeah, ass, did uh, you? All right, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah about I, I want to give a hi- highlight. You know, so my Xbox Design Lab controllers came in. Um, no, no, got the you know the green and black and the black and green. So you know, check out Xbox Design Labs if you want to design your own controller for the cheap, cheap. Um, I put an unboxing video up earlier in the week, but uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, what's it? Tibby, what's this hilly billy horseback riding game? Uh, BB and T- what's it? BB and Tina, I think. BB and Tina, which is a PlayStation and Nintendo Switch uh, exclusive, ironically. Um, yeah. So I'll be streaming. That game, um, uh, this week, probably Thursday after I get my gums clean. All right, <laughs> man. Oh, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> I was called BB and Tina at the horse farm. I looked BB it up, it's, okay. it's based off a 2014 movie, smooth. So maybe you should Jack, watch I'm, I'm still waiting for that link, by the way. Oh, yeah, let me go okay. find one. Hold on. All right, sorry. well, we, uh, we're, go- we're out of here. We're going to After Dark. If you haven't submitted an After Dark question, you can still do so now. Uh, so we're out of here. We'll catch y'all next week. Um, Jack likes receiving strangers from random men, and uh, you know that's his thing. That's his thing. I'm the one, I'm the one that put that's BG on into. his stomach. Just, just so y'all know, I'm the one that put that, BG on his stomach. That, that's that's his thing. Okay, that 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 boy, <laughs> Jack 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 loves Jack. Jack told hey, us in oh After Dark. He he he. Jack loves boy pussy. Okay, he, <laughs> he loves it. He he loves it. <laughs> Jack oh, loves it. <laughs> <laughs> he's a cold oh, he's man. a cold stone weirdo a cold no, stone man. weirdo y- y'all, y'all, y'all seen y'all 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 seen y'all notice he's been flirting with flirting with me this whole podcast asking me about my mouth asking me about wow. wild shit y'all, okay it, it, it's, it's not random it's not random this boy jack is a cold stone weirdo okay, man. <laughs>